get your pissy pork. Whether I love all ladies or they just all whores. Whether I rock the top in a dubbed out coupe. Whether I take you out to eat and order rat soup. Uh, it really don't matter at all. DJ Assault, a.k.a. Craig Diamonds, y'all. So what you saying? We gon' get naughty, y'all. Ready to party with the girls with naked bodies, y'all. Okay. So strip tease, get on your knees. Stop me at the clubs when the cops yell freeze. The legal shit, we gon' leave confidential. This is what I'm giving you over this instrumental. Something to shake your ass to. Something to make that cash to. Something to shake your ass to. Something to make that cash What I'm giving them, something to shake your ass to. Something to make that cash to. Something to shake your ass to. Something to make that cash Came in the club like that, that, that. Something to shake your cat to. 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 If I annoy him enough, he'll run away. And that's what we want him to see. He's not going to go away. Something to shake your cat, too. Well, guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the Conspiracy Castle. I am your conspiracy asshole. And tonight is a lovely night. We have a very special guest, one of the most special guests we've ever had on the show. And that's the honest truth, because I have to tell you, this beautiful young lady, very hilarious young lady, was my arch nemesis on the one, the only ABC's Glass House. But before I bring her on, I gotta get, I gotta get everything set up. I gotta do the stop share. I gotta do some in-screen editing. But before I bring her on, and the chat's not live, I gotta add the chat to the screen. Sorry, we're doing some stuff. Let me tell. Let me give a little warm up. This lady was on this show, the Glass House, and. This was an incredibly traumatic event from start to finish, from the casting process to the freaking, uh, to what happened on the show, to literally everything. It, it, this show was absolutely bonkers. And I think Erica will admit that. And we're going to really dive deep tonight. And I have to apologize. I said some stuff that was disgusting, some stuff that was really not Fair, Erica, to you, some stuff that I really have to, we have to hash things out. I have to say, I am very sorry, Erica. And uh, and with that, Erica, I know you saw the music and stuff. You can't hear the music. There's no music. But the, usually I don't let the guests hear the music, but I purposely did because I wanted you to know the good vibrations for the show because we're all energetic beings. And I wanted you to feel the energy tonight here in the Conspiracy Castle. Welcome, Erica. How are you doing this lovely evening? I am amazing. Um, this is the most ridiculous show I've ever seen, and I love it. It's got like this kind of CNN vibe, like CNN on cocaine a little bit, and then you've got this like just expletive-ridden theme song, and I'm loving everything about it. Honestly, I'm thrilled. Like I have been wanting to see Conspiracy Castle, and uh, now I'm I'm popping my cherry. It would seem, but I completely agree with you. I've talked to several people about how weird our show was, just everything about it was strange i mean i'm gonna pull it up we're gonna watch it we're gonna watch it so 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 before i pull it up let me let me go to the youtube let's get the show started so you have twitter i sent you the twitter link share the twitter link this is why because this is gonna go crazy and all of our glass house enemies are gonna see this we might as well show them erica we're gonna you are know they i have glass house enemies none of them like me you were on the show for a long time everybody hates me i was the villain i'm about to embarrass myself this is what i have to say first before i pull this up I was so excited for our interview. Uh, you know, I saw, I was talking to you on Twitter and I tried to, I had the episode. Let me pull it back up. I lost it. 
You can go right on YouTube. And I'm probably going to get a strike for playing ABC. So I'm going to have to play it kind of weird, like in a small window. You'll, you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see the audio, what I'm talking about. But um, what I'm trying to say is this show I tried to watch today, Erica, and I was cringing just because my – I couldn't even watch it. Let me show you why. Let me show you why. Oh, my gosh. It disgusts me. I'm disgusting. I am such a freak. Okay, let me go to properties. Let me do this. On. Oh, okay, okay. So, Erica, can you see? You can see my screen right now. Huh? So I, so I type in ABC's The Glass House, right? But I just want to say, Alex, I almost kind of respected. It was almost like you weren't really a mean guy. I wait, wait, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Hold on, hold on. Don't say anything yet. So say, hey, my green screen's kind of being funny. Uh, 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 let me turn on one of my lights. Uh. No, no, we're going to talk about all that shit. But this is what I want to say first before I go into it. So I wanted to watch it. I wanted to key it up. But as soon as you, you type it in, I'm the I'm the I'm just the whatever. What do we even call these? The freaking uh, title card. What are these things called? I, I don't I don't thumbnail. And I don't and I'm on YouTube. I don't even know what the fuck it's called. The thumbnail. I don't make them. They're so fucking annoying. I'm so bad at editing stuff. But listen, I had such cringe seeing this, Erica. I was sick to my stomach. I was sick to my stomach. Oh, shoot. I got to change something. Change the setting. Now I can't see you. Um, the thing no. is, Alex, everyone liked you. Like, everyone liked I, you when you were, like, when it was over. We were like, Alex was just doing some stupid shit strategic. Why? Like, it's like you were doing an experiment with the audience. I don't think anyone actually thought you were a jerk is the weird thing. Because you did act like a jerk. But then, like, after the show, I was like, Alex is actually really fun. And he's kind of, I was like, yeah, he kind of is. Like. I don't think anybody could stay mad at you, you know? Yeah, I hope not. I mean, I embarrass myself. I embarrass my family. I mean, okay, look, but before we play the show, let me ask you some questions. We got to ask a couple questions. So you stayed on how long before we go into this? Because we're going to watch the first episode, then we'll try to find a little bit of the last. Because I don't want to get a strike, so I don't want to watch it here. Let me let me just key it up. We can talk about it because you're going to be on all night. I just want to showcase you. You look lovely this evening. Thank you for coming on. You know, I really appreciate it. So you're injured, though. I saw you have a hurt leg, so you're playing hurt tonight. So, you know, we just want to clap it up for everybody at home watching erica is on the injured reserve but she still came out here and showed up so that's that just shows you for the because erica that actually is important that's part of the conspiracy castle a lot of people uh uh, uh I, you know don't have the ability to walk you know and they take it for granted they become ableist and we don't like ableist you know this at this thing you know so we got to take advantage of our life and have gratitude yeah i know we're anti-ableist people that you know are able you don't realize you know what i mean it's just really touchy it's like transgender okay real quick before we show the show what do you think about men identifying as women and playing against girls in high school sports what the fuck alex that's deep that's all over the place that's man. deep okay well what's your kind of milk toast popcorn. oh it is it's disgusting it's terrible i'm I, we are okay we'll wait for that we'll wait for that but I, that's such a, that's such a big thing well it's just it, you know i figured that's you know we get it we get off with a bang Okay, well, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. We have, I'm looking at some sports stuff, sports on my mind. Erica, this is a wild show. I have to apologize before I say anything. I, I, I'm liable to do anything. You know, I have a mental issue. I have mental health issues, and I don't take medication because I, I don't, you know, I, I just, I don't like to pop pills. So, and listen, I don't drink. Can you believe that? Can you believe I do all this? Erica, I stopped drinking two years ago. It's actually kind of a sad story. So. I kind of wish you were still drinking a little bit. <laughs> I, I know I probably need I'm really a need. I'm proud of you. I obviously I needed a beer for this. I was like, well, if I'm oh. Alex. No, beer. are you kidding, Erica? We love it. We love it. Please, if you get need to take a smoke break, please take us with you. We love cigarettes on the conspiracy castle. We just love that. I love the atmosphere. We need the effect. You know, it, it really adds a touch of touch touch of this, touch of that. Okay, but real quick, so let me let me go to this. Let me share screen. Share screen. Go to. Okay. I'm going to show this one with audio share. Okay, here's the glass house. Now, I have to show it kind of small. So, why is it? Let's go properties. Uh, I know. Sorry, we're doing this on the fly. Live editing. Okay, so you can see, you can see the glass house, right, uh, Erica? Yeah, I mean, I can see the video that you pulled up. Yeah. Yeah. You want okay. episode one? 
Yes. Okay. Here it is. Let me here. Let's. This is that one. I was only on. Wow. Page eleven bucks. Thank you, Page. Eleven dollars. Okay, Page. You're about to freak out when you see what you're about to see. I'm gonna be embarrassed. Okay. Let's let's play this thing. This is the glass house. A stunning, transparent living space with no secrets. That will be home for fourteen unique players. Yeah. Bro! Bro! With a quarter of a million dollars going to the winner. You're just a little soft little baby. Have some respect. No. Whoa. You decide their every move. America, should I turn into the most epic villain in the history of reality TV? It's the show they didn't want you to see. Well, it's gonna keep coming. Let's get weird right about now. It's your show. And now it's time to meet your players. Hello. Here I am! 99 Alex Stan. Woo! Let's check Ooh. this boy out! Crazy. Oh, oh my gosh! And nobody. Wait, the people at home didn't see it. it. Oh my gosh, Erica, I didn't have it right. The people, I gotta play. I, you're gonna say I did this on purpose. I gotta play that again because I didn't see it. And they didn't see you. So hold on, let me fix it. Let me fix it because they didn't see you either. Hold on. So we gotta play that one more time. They can see you in the little screen. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Uh, and you were a bail bondsman at the time? I still am. I still am. I'm in Dallas. You know, my dad's a big time bail bondsman. That's what he does for a living. And so uh, I've had my license because, you know, in case he dies or something, he has agents that work underneath him that'll like owe him money. Or if he dies, I'll owe some people money, you know, this and that. So I kind of, it's a family business. So I never gave up my license. So it was cool, like in college and stuff. And I lived in LA, you know, certain counties where I was licensed, you know, some agent would, you know, once. Once or twice a month, send me a check for a certain amount of money. It's really cool. Okay, okay. Now everybody can see at home. Now let's play the intro one more time so that people can see. Oh, and then let me let me pull up the chat. Okay. I bet people are freaking out. So everybody, though, because this is a conspiracy show, see, they think I'm a shill. They think I'm hired by the government to, even though I'm revealing truth, right, that I'm actually paid by the government. So I'm controlled opposition is what a lot of people are going to say, especially because it's an ABC show. That's how deep we are in this, Erica. I know it's deep in the woods, but sometimes it'd be like that. This is the Glass House, a stunning, transparent living space with no secrets that will be home for 14 unique players. Yeah. Bro! 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 With a quarter of a million dollars going to the winner. You're just a little soft little baby. Have some respect. No. Whoa. You decide their every move. America, should I turn into the most epic villain in the history of reality TV? It's yes! They didn't want you to see. They didn't want you to see it! They didn't, it's a show they didn't want you to see, Mother Truck! For you at home, you're like, oh shit, what was it? It was the show they didn't want you to see. Well, guess what, Mother Truck? Is you about to see it tonight? Let's get weird right about now. It's your show. What, Erica? Nine years later, we're still getting weird. How crazy is that? It's, it's still, still meant weird. to be. How's the audio, guys? Am I screaming too much? In the, this is a new microphone. Do I sound good to you? Is it coming in clear? Am I crystal clear, Erica, on your end? Yeah, no, it does. you sound good. Your audio is good, yeah. yeah. It should sound. This is a really nice microphone. It's very should sound. I should sound very supple on your ear lobes Are tonight. What's going on right now? Are we watching? Okay, we're watching the show. Yeah, we're watching the show, but we're having a good time. Erica, come on. I'm very lucky to have a beautiful young lady on my show like you. This is a good experience for me. You gotta stop buttering me up because you call me, you know, a fat I, lady or whatever. I, I know. I'm and disgusting. Now, like, 10 years later, though, 10 years later, like, I'm kind of fatter. So it's like there's really no, like... It's not about the weight. It's really not about that. And I think I called, well, yeah, I have no excuse for that. It's really terrible. See, that's like you dropped that. I dropped the transgender sports bomb <laughs> and you just dropped that. I was so rude. Okay, let's see it. Let's watch it for the people at home. Okay, uh, Al Erica is much lower volume than Alex. Here, let me, let me turn me down. Let me turn me down. Hello, hello. And then I got to turn you up. Let me go to properties. Let me add you in the filter. Sorry, when you're doing this live, you're going, okay, plus, gain, done. How's that? Erica, say uh, your name, Erica, or something. Just say anything. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, that should be good. I know, I guess we could have just talked about something. 
Uh, let me know if the audio Sorry. in the chat is is better. Okay, let's watch the show, and then let me know, guys. Let me know if me talking over the show audio is. Uh... And now it's time to meet your players. Hello, my name's Primetime Ninety Nine, Alex Stan. Woo! Let's Ooh, check this bad boy out. Crazy. Oh my gosh! And nobody in this house is gonna do what I do. Because I got no shame, and I got no fear. Can you believe that we're in the house? We're gonna be living together now? This is insane. Are you, I'm your this new roommate, Andrea? This is insane. Hi, I'm Andrea, and I'm 31 years old, and I'm Mormon. Oh, I love the colors. I'm just a mom, and I'm oh. here trying to play this game for my family, but this is definitely pushing me way outside of my comfort zone right now. We've got visitors. Woo! Yes! Hi, my name is Ashley. I'm 30 years old. I'm a paralegal. I'm from New Orleans. I'm not going to be fake. I'm not going to be talking behind people's backs. I'm real. Oh, my oh. God. Yay. Welcome to the glass house. That's like literally all the show is. I'm not going to be talking behind people's backs. I'm going to be real. It, the whole show is people just shitting on people behind people's backs. I mean, isn't? I mean, it's just so. That's how that, you guys played it. That's how you guys I, played I it. I didn't even play. I didn't even play. See, Erica, we're talking about me, guys. Play. I didn't you even did get to play. play. Alex. What? Well, I'm very already. sure. You did a bold play. Yeah, I played like a little bitch. I lost in the first. It would have. But... I have to say though, it would have been a more entertaining show had you stayed. Totally, it yeah. would have. Well, I think that I probably would have if Jacob, you know, the porn star. I don't know why he. Why did uh... you hitch your wagon to that? I didn't. He was just kind of following okay, me, we'll and I watch. thought I... we'll watch. We'll all see if oh. Alex hitched his wagon to Jacob because he totally did. Y'all were two bros in a pod within like three hours. And you were the brains of that operation, my friend. You should know. Exactly. I thought I had a right hand. Ma I needed somebody to. Okay, listen, Erica, you're holding totally right. manipulate. I need. A lot dumber than you. I need. Exactly. I needed a henchman. So, and I did. Tell them that we did the cast. I mean, the casting for this was very strange. Like we did, what, four hours of psychiatric testing and IQ tests. We took a full MMPI with casting. Like. We had consults with the psychiatrists that were like just in person. I mean, it was weirdly vetted. Like they knew how smart all of us were. They knew like our personality tendencies and stuff. It was it was very creepy and they do intense background That's checks, creepy. but like but but nowadays it's even more intense. Nowadays they do audits from I talk to people and, and I've you know, I've worked for a show here in Dallas, Cheaters. I came back to Dallas and worked for the TV show Cheaters and I signed an NDA, so I can't tell you much about it, but you know, it's you kind of know how that show works, like a lot of reality shows. Um, but uh, uh, now it's like for the background check, they really look into your social media, so they so they make sure you didn't say like the n word when you're like 16 years old on the internet. It's really right. kind of weird. A lot of kids get canceled. Um, but the casting was absurd. But I was living in Los Angeles at the time, so for me, it was that kind of fun because I was like so poor. I was eating McDonald's double cheeseburgers the whole time, so I got to eat at the lobby of the. The hotel, I was pumped. I remember like every day I was like, oh, I'm going to need to eat. I was, I'm telling you, Eric, when I was broke, I lived in like a nine, your apartment in Hollywood was nicer, but it was furnished. It was a lot, a lot more expensive. I had the cheapest of the cheap apartment on Yucca Street. It was 900 bucks a month. It was like one room with like a shotgun kitchen and a toilet. It was like hell. And my neighbors were all meth heads. All my neighbors are methods. Every not not one of them wasn't a method. I was kind of a method. No, I mean, I wasn't on. Wasn't I wasn't on meth. I didn't. But I mean, I, I I wasn't like these guys. And one guy was a personal trainer. He was my friend. He was still kind of on meth, but he worked at Twenty Four Hour Fitness, so he kind of kept me in shape physically. But I digress. It's not about that. I was at a weird time. I was at a low point. I was at a vulnerable point in my life. When I got on the show, I thought I was about to be on The Bachelor. I was going to win. I thought I was going to be freaking Mark Consuelos, like marrying some freaking hot Latina lady or something. I mean, I, who knows what I thought? A lot of doors I thought were going to open. Instead, they all got slammed in my face. But, but we have to talk to you because I have to say... You lasted to the very end, but the heart, you should have won. And, and I, and I didn't, if you, whether you believe me or not, I didn't watch every episode. I stopped watching because it was almost too annoying. Like I couldn't. I think I would have a hard time watching it if I was. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, yeah. I don't even want to get into the freaking, you know, weeds of it. But okay, well, let's watch some of it because we got a lot to go. We got a lot. My name is Apollo Poetry. I am 28 years old. I really believe mind over matter. I believe in the law of attraction. I believe in just delivering as much passion as you can. That's really my strategy. Wow, the house is made of glass. I would have never guessed. <laughs> what up, Welcome to the house. Woo! My name's Gene, 
28 years old. I'm 6'7", about 340 of just huge awesomeness. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. The Glass House is kind of a game changer because ultimately it is up to the public, the whole thing. Who stays, who goes, and the stakes are very high. At least for me, because I am broke as a joke. Ah, we all were. Okay, yeah, I, was living, I was living on an air mattress in my friend's living room. And you had just, not to throw shade, but you just dropped out of law school. So that's expensive because yeah. that shit is, that's the most expensive. Right. I know you were trying to save cash. Uh, but law school is annoying. You know, I'm thinking about going to law school. Did you think about, did you ever think about going back, Erica? Never. No, I. Uh, no. You'd I mean, be a I, good attorney. I probably would be, but I didn't want to be one. Like, I was doing well academically. I was like, I made it halfway through, but I just like, I don't know. I look at my friends who were lawyers and they weren't happy. And I was like, I want to do something creative. So yeah, you know, I, I you're, like I just you're my losses. Cause I feel like if ahead. I had this out, I would have felt compelled to practice and I wouldn't have been happy. You know, I'm kind of anti-college now, even though I got a college degree. So I think that's smart, but, um, I have to say, Erica, your stamina to write, and I'm not just kissing your ass. I've been buttering you up do you, just for the small things. You have this gusto and ability to type on a typewriter or cell phone or whatever the fuck you're typing on your fingers are way stronger than mine and you're very talented i don't understand how you can you're one of the best people that i've ever read at typing out a conversation between people and i mean that because a lot of people try to type out conversations between people and yours are one of the best i don't know how the fuck you do it i don't understand Actually, like you know like the nicest thing that's the nicest compliment i could get i mean i'm a I'm a writer, like that's what I kind of want to do. It just been last couple of years have been crazy, but that's like a very, very high praise. So thank you for that. That's true. I'm just saying. I'm like, holy God, Erica, you type this, and I know you type fast. I know it doesn't not like you're sitting there a long time typing, but I'm just like, you space it, you do it all right. I'm the, the tra I'm a trash. I'm trash. I'm garbage. Even though, like I'm saying, I was educated or whatever. The way you write, I'm a little jealous, but I'm also annoyed. I'm like, damn, this is like really writing. And so you really are. Like I say, when I read it, it's like gusto. Like, it's like, but I, boom. But like, I think that makes me, I'm, I'm kind of a writer at heart, right? I think. You are a writer. Writing, no, not kind of. A verbal thought, you know, whereas I, so I look at you and I'm envious of your obvious charisma and shit. Okay. Well, we don't you have know, I'm not as energetic as you and I do stand up. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's funny. Stand-up is, is good, but I'm telling you, listen, Erica, if you really want to perform, this is just for me. Like, now we have 97, 99 are watching on YouTube, and we're just, you know, we're just 21 minutes in. Every night I'm doing an open mic. I'm doing an open I'm doing a four-hour open mic every night. Like, I'm not a stand-up comedian, no, but it's just like you got to get a show because you're so funny. You would crush it as a comedian or Ann or whatever you call it, and I'm not trying to – call you out for being a woman i just think you're extra funny you know what i mean because this is what no i'm not kissing your ass most women and i'm not saying women aren't funny my mom's hilarious women are funny i believe there's a lot of women funny but there's not as many funny women in the fact you are one i i believe that women say it's hard in the comedy industry because it's so male dominated but there's fewer funny women so i feel like you know you have the ability i think you could shine it's not true that there are fewer funny women do but uh are there not I not fewer think, not like fewer like that i guess that is a little sexist to say it like that because women are just as funny as men i'm not trying to say that you're, but you you're know what I mean? there's less women who attempt it because there are exactly so exactly women. that's what it, that you correct me i'm not saying because every girl every girl i've ever dated is funny i can't date a girl without a sense of humor so i agree women are just as funny as men i'm not trying to be sexist like that but i'm saying there's more male comics it's just a male shit you know you got to go live in right. shitty condos you got to suck uh, you know, for a while on stage where you get good. So that's hard. That's, you know, that's hard. That's probably the hardest part is having thick skin. Yeah. I mean, I think, um, you just gotta, like in the early years of it, you really have to put in the time on stage until you get comfortable. Like I was worried about getting back up after a year, you know, with COVID and stuff, but I just played a weekend in Indianapolis opening for Stuart Huff and like, I was just riffing a lot more than I ever did before. Like I wasn't going back to my old written material as much. I was just doing more crowd work and like getting loose with it. And that was cool. But like, I like having, um, I don't know that I would want to be a road comic forever. I'm less interested in being famous these days. I'm more interested in being like, you know, of service shit to people. <laughs> well, hopefully once the conspiracy castle, unless I get censored, I'll be huge and you're going to be my first writer. You'll be the head of the, the writing room. I need you. All that, all those type, all that keyboard typing. 
My name is Jacob. I'm 28 years old. The viewers are definitely looking now. Everybody, now everybody watching the show is going to call me a homo because I'm friends with this guy in the show. I already know that's what they're going to say. Watch her because they're going to say, "Oh, Alex is gay for this guy." Watch that's what they're going to say. For someone show. like me, they're looking for a funny, goofy personality with really good funny. looks and a good body. So how could you beat them? I live in a 300 okay. square foot apartment, so this place is. Okay. So this place is, my name is Jacob. Okay, and so let's break this guy down. He's like, this guy's like basically autistic. He's like probably, you know, he couldn't, you know, he read. This guy reads at like a second grade level. And so I'm thinking I'm going to freaking use this guy. I'm going to ride him like a horse to the finish line. Just whatever I do, I'm going to just freaking just. I thought I was going to curb stomp this guy or ride him like, you know, Aladdin rides that magic rug. I was just going to stand on his back and just, you know, um, that didn't happen. This guy's such a fucking idiot. He sabotaged my brain. He turned me stupid. Uh, it, it wore off. See, we're energetic beings at the time. I wasn't spiritually enlightened then. And so I just didn't know he had bit negative, bad vibrations. So this guy we're showing you right here on the screen, his name was Jacob and he, uh, uh, the, the beginning of the show, he like ran off. That's how he left. That was weird. But then it was revealed that he had done a bunch of um, uh, semi homosexual or not full homosexual uh, masturbation. Um, uh, 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 he adult did hand porn. He did self. He did jerk off porn. Yeah. And I think and he, he spread his he spread his holes. He spread his holes too. I think he did holes. You don't need to get into that, Alex. The, well, the they need to know. Oh, know eleven bucks. It. Jared Anderson said homo. And look, he, look, I'm getting crushed. Look at that. That's not correct, Jaren. Jaren, I knew that was gonna happen. I'm getting emasculated, Erica. Erica, if you have some cleavage, show it for the audience to prove I'm not gay. If you have a little cleavage, just show them. That's what I see, Jaren. That's to show you. I love that. I'm just kidding. I don't know why I obliged you on that. I really don't. Because you love but... the good energy. <laughs> Erica, this is a comedy show. It's a conspiracy castle. We let it all loose. Okay, so this is my gay boyfriend on the show. That's what they're going to say. Okay, so let's I'm watch. I'm 28 years old. The viewers are definitely looking for someone like me. They're looking for a funny goofy personality no they're not really jacob body. so how could you beat them i live in a 300 square foot apartment so this place is great i know this is awesome i'm happy to be here especially with you holly <laughs> my name is holly Ako. i'm 21 see years old. i'm saying hey, hey i'm trying to get a little I'm after that i'm just I'm a smart kidding. girl i don't just have that's my biggest mistake just real i just realized it right there erica I should have tried to date you on the show. I didn't try to date you. I, I didn't try to date you. If I just, you, Kevin, you dated Kevin. If I would have dated you on the show, I would have won the show because I would have I would have dated you the whole show. And then didn't Kevin screw you at the very end, kind of, before we reveal anything? Is that kind of what the vibe was? Yeah. Um, I think, I mean, Kevin and I knew pretty early on that we were going to be each other's biggest competition in the end. And there was kind of like some sexual tension at the beginning, but then it became we were in separate alliances, which it made no sense to me why people were making alliances anyway, because it was always ultimately up to the audience. So some of you banding together with people like Jacob, it was like, do you not realize Jacob has zero self-awareness about what I'm America a fucking is? idiot. I'm a 24 year old dumbass out of college pothead retardo mondardo didn't know my ashman i didn't know the game and i got a bunch of freaks like jeffrey and you all these t and i like tv but y'all are like oh my god this is how you play the game this is you know like, not me that not, not me. you I, really not you I but that was the essence the i was like guys don't bother with alliances there's no reason to the way this game is structured there's no reason to be in an alliance like you could avoid limbo sure like but you were always going to get voted back in if the crowd liked you. Like the, the whole house forgot that it was like, it was always up to the audience the whole time. Yeah, that's what this show is. It's like, that was, was, it was different about this show for the people at home. Well, let's just watch it. Let's get into it. We got a long night. Come on. I hope you don't have any plans. I've looks, but I do have the brains to back it up. Um, are you cheating on me already? No, actually, I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, I, I am. I see something pretty. I'm going to you. Beautiful. It's all beautiful ladies in here. I, I'm not playing favorites for you. I'm trying to be a pound. Oh, we got some more friends. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> My name's Jeffrey. I'm 35 years old. I'm bold. I'm beautiful. I consider myself I'm bold. Fat I'm beautiful. So, I mean, I'm holding down the like hot fat gay guy thing too. Pretty good, I think. It is totally gorgeous. I'm so excited about this house. Hi, I'm Joy. Nice to meet you. There are a lot of different parts to me. I am a mom. I'm a nurse. I pose for Playboy. And I'm just fun. <laughs> I'm a naked mom. So at least we all start. I love off with Joy. I love you, Joy. <laughs> 
I know because I know, but I mean, let's just be real. Let's read that again. I mean, what is she saying? I'm a naked mommy. I mean, come on, ABC. Come on. Alex, I mean, you got voted off for bullying her for the exact same thing on the show, and now you're doing it again. Well, I'm white trash, Erica. I have a bunch of mental health issues. I, I mean, I'm not bullying Joy. She's a badass. She's beautiful. She deserves it. And we're pro. I actually believe that sex work should be legalized because... Um, the <laughs> wow! She's a nurse. She doesn't do sex work. She just goes for Playboy. <laughs> I didn't say that, but let me tell you about sex work. My thoughts on sex work, Eric. I believe sex work should be legal because since I, sex no, work I is... No, you do. Because sex work... Boy, is not a sex worker. <laughs> I know, but I'm saying because there is... Uh, because all sex work is illegal, it actually tends to be young children because it's just as illegal if it's a child for the sex traffickers. And children are more, more vulnerable. So if they legalized it and they you know, decriminalized it and made it an infrastructure like they have in Europe and Amsterdam, there'd be less child sex trafficking. But people don't want to think like that because they don't want to think outside the box. Or like Taco Bell used to say, think outside the bun. Here at the Conspiracy Castle, we like to think outside the bun. Metaphorical bun. My name's Jeffrey, I'm 35 years old, I'm bold, I'm beautiful, I consider myself fat hot. So, yeah. I mean, I'm holding down the like hot fat gay guy thing too, pretty good I think. It is totally He's holding the hot gorgeous. fat gay guy thing, good, so I like that. Hi, I'm Joy, nice to meet you. It's just, this show is like a stereo. And you know, watching it now, I know I'm teasing. It's because I'm so uncomfortable, Erica. That's why I'm deflecting. Because now I feel like I'm back on the show with you. And I'm, there's a big audience. Now we're doing it for again. I'm getting, this is what they call in the, this is what they call in the conspiracy world, a humi humiliation ritual, where I'm publicly humiliating myself. And so the Illuminati likes to do this. Like they publicly humiliated like Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and the Queen and Prince Andrew and stuff like that. They humiliate you in public. So this is a self-humiliation. <laughs> We don't have to do self-humiliation, Alex. We can talk about whatever the hell you want. No, we have to do the self-humiliation. The, the Illuminati. I'm in the 33rd degree Illuminati, so I have to. I don't have a choice. They, they, they told me I have to humiliate myself in order if I want to make it to the next level. So, all right. There are a lot of different parts to me. I am a mom. I'm a nurse. I post for Playboy. And I don't just fall into any one stereotype. I'm a naked mom. start off with hugs, right? Yeah. And I like naked moms. Uh -oh. I'm a naked son. My name is Robin. I'm 43 years old. Robin. I was born to be a Jewish mother. Yes, I was. <laughs> what? And I have no problem I don't remember being that. that figure in this house. It's so good to meet you guys finally. Uh, right? right. Like, <laughs> my name is Kevin. I'm 33 years old. I'm a police officer. And uh, I have a 15 year old daughter who I think about constantly every day. She's wow. my world. She's wow. in the show. This guy hated me. This guy hated me. He's already talking about his daughter. And he won the show. And he won the show. Finally, uh, right? Like, <laughs> my name's Kevin. I'm and this is your boyfriend on the show. This is Erica's he show was, boyfriend. Yeah, he was my boyfriend. We made out one time when we were drunk in week three. That was weird too, though. Didn't you think that like, that's why I tried to tell everyone at the beginning. I was like, you guys were being streamed live at times that they're not telling us about. I guarantee you, because there wouldn't be that clause in our contract that we couldn't go beyond kissing and hugging. That was weird. Like, we were on right after The Bachelorette. Is there a clause in our contract that said we couldn't fuck? Is that true? Yeah, you weren't aware of that, dude? No, I was just worried about if I was going to jack it. So I, I was worried about that clause. I think that you were allowed to crank it in the house. No, you definitely weren't because... That was my what? point. You guys, we have. I was like, they wouldn't have put that clause in the contract. I would have it. never cranked it. I would have never Why? cranked it. For the record, <laughs> sorry. Go it. ahead. Tell them about the clause. Yeah, sorry. I apologize, but I would have never. For the record, set the record straight. For the record, I would have never, unless I had, unless there was a medical issue. Go ahead. Smoke that, light that right now, and then I tell the story. Need Take it, it. Alex. I, need I know it right now. you need to smoke a couple. I hope they have a new pack, so you don't have to go to the gas station. Uh, so jerking off in the house, I, I mean, that's the thing. Like we weren't allowed to do that because like we were being streamed live at times that we weren't made aware of. And that's the only reason they would have prohibited us from having sexual contact. Right. If they, if they were afraid the kids were going to tune in and see somebody banging, like during so the I live tried stream, to tell everyone early on, like that was the big reveal at the end that they had been doing that. But that was why I tried to tell everyone early on and nobody believed me. They were like, they wouldn't do that without telling us. I was like, did you read your contract, dude? You signed your life away. Of course they would. And that's what they so, were doing all the time. 
So everybody wants to pinpoint. So you see my show's called Conspiracy Castle 33 CC. So how it works is uh, the reason why CC is an occultic number is there's 33 degrees of Freemasonry, and that was created by Albert Pike. And so Freemasonry is just like a level above the secret societies that come out of like Yale and Harvard and all these you know secret societies. But how it works is these people in Hollywood, they love to use signs and symbology to communicate with each other. So a lot of times they like to cast people that are like 33, that number. Like Marilyn Monroe is 33. Jimmy Kimmel is 33 because he's Jimmy, two M's in his, and then two M's in Kimmel. So that's what they say. Is 30, he's dual 33. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what they're saying. So it's like Kenny Rosen. You're like, why would they do that? But somebody would tell Kenny Rosen, hey, make sure to use the number 33 as many times as possible. I know it sounds nuts. You're really thinking out there, but everybody in the chat, all the conspiracy people. Okay, but, but uh, uh, you know, and, also, and rem- well, one thing that we could talk about, my ex-husband was a 16th degree Freemason and that was, there was some creepy shit happening there. Wait, shut the front door, Erica. Gosh dang it, Russell. You you I know you had an ex husband, but he was a sixteenth degree. He was a re- legitimate for he was in Freemasonry like that? Yeah. I went to like a couple meetings of the Eastern Star, but the whole thing freaked me out. What was that like? What the hell was that like? Did they have you in like weird dresses or something? I don't know. I mean, I guess you just dressed normal. <laughs> what the It was just very secretive. He was never very open about it. He wanted to get married at the Masonic Temple, actually, in Cincinnati. Well, a Um, lot of people do stuff at Masonic Temples. That's not necessarily, but but that is kind of weird, though. His his father, I mean, Dane's father's 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 father. I mean, he's old school Freemasonry. But um, it was like, there were, like, when he, when we got engaged the first time, when we were young, he, like, had to have me vetted, like, my whole family and stuff was, like, vetted by the Freemasons, and they had to approve of the engagement in order for him to marry me. What the fuck did you just say, Erica? Say that one more time. They vetted your family, and explain how they vetted, like, somebody called, or, like, what do you think they even did? I guess you don't even know. Genealogical and historical research on the, the families that the woman is from. Like, he told my parents this, too. I mean, it was very, he was open about it. They did a genealogy. Shut the front door, Erica. They did not do genealogy research on your ass. They did like ancestry stuff. Like they knew, like, cause, and it was freaky because Dane told me, he's like, yeah, your, um, your great uncle from Picayune, Mississippi was a Mason. And I didn't know that. And then I asked my mom and she's like, oh yeah, like he was, I still have his like Masonic ring somewhere. My uncle from Picayune. And like, I didn't even know that guy really. So he wouldn't have known that unless the Masons had actually done research about both my families. It was weird. Wow, that's fucked up. Now people, they all think I'm a Freemason. I'm a shill. Like I said, that I'm a you know agent provocateur. I'm undercover working for the Freemasons. That's what people say. And they're in saying in the chat that I'm jealous because I'm not in the same lodge as your ex-husband. So I think that's funny. I like that. You're right. I, I'm the th- I'm in the I 30. Mean, I'm, the, just I'm like a men's fraternal organization, you know, but like it does seem like I don't know. What do you he, mean? Like, it's just a man's all this stuff, and like he had to memorize all of these Masonic things. It's almost like a bar mitzvah or something when you like attain a new degree. There's this whole ceremony, but it's like, why can't you talk to me about it? If it's just this like dudes club where you, you know what I mean, where you just like network for business and stuff. Because it it's seems, more than that. I think it is, but it's it creeps me out. Erica, it's creepy as shit because they use guys like Freemasons and stuff to kind of like literally socially engineer society and like cause like certain situations to happen. I know it's weird, but you I don't know the extent of that so much, but I do think there's something, I mean, there's obviously something secretive about the organization because they don't talk about, you know, what they do. And it just seems suspect to me that no women can be a part of it still. Like they try to get you into Eastern star, which is like the female equivalent of the Masons. So that freaked me out too. I was like, I don't know about these people. Like I went to a couple of parties and I was just like, dude, not my, not my bag. What was it like? What was the party? I mean, was everybody getting drunk or were they sober? <laughs> yeah, no, it was just like, <clears throat> it, you know, the, the, what do they call it? Like the lodge grandmaster lodge, something, whatever. It was at his house and his, um, his wife hosted the Masons and like their wives and girlfriends and stuff. What and kind of house them. was it? It was a really nice house. It was in St. Louis. When you um, say nice, 10-bedroom house? Huh? 
Describe that. Describe. I know this is random, actually, but like, describe the house. This is like a leader of the Freemason thing, and he has like some badass house. Kind of describe the house as like old. Like, it would look like a house they might do rituals at. Is what I'm trying to get. Was did no, it look clandestine? No. It like a very, very, very normal house. Like people were just drinking beers, drinking. Well, wine, you know your, you know your ex husband did rituals. You know your ex husband did rituals with robes on and stuff. He would get drunk and kind of talk about that sometimes when he got too drunk, but. uh like he told me that, like if, I mean, you are threatened with death and murder if you tell the secrets. Like, <clears throat> yeah. Does that sound like nice people? Not to me, you know. I'm gonna murder you. I mean, I'm not a very nice person on this show, but I would never murder people. Okay, let's watch. This I'm 33 show. years old. I'm a police officer, and uh, I have a 15 year old daughter who I think Wait, about. Wait, he's 33, uh, and he has a 15 year old daughter. How old was he? Nine years old when he had her. How old was he? What did I don't even know how to do the math? What I is that math? Been, he was 33, right, when the show was on. So I think he has. What's minus 18? Is that right? Do I yeah, have that I think right? it was like it was last year of high school. What a horny bastard. Constantly, every day. She's my yeah, world. She's the reason I'm going to win this show. <laughs> I'm happy you had her, though. I'm Stephanie. I am 32 years old. I'm a scientist living in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm not one of those wannabe models, actresses, fake people. I'm a real person. Yeah. Yay! Everybody's a real person so far. It's all about being real. My name is Mike McCarthy. I'm 48 years old. I'm Hello, 48. Mike. I'm going to be dead in a couple of years. Okay, this is my last big hurrah in life. The game is hurrah. I feel like Tiny Tim. All you guys are huge. That's, that's six feet. This is unbelievable. This is crazy. Isn't it? Hey, Dan, I want to hug you, Ashley. I just want to be with you all day. Jeffrey, I just want to touch you. I want to hug you. I love the purple glasses. I, I'm, I'm a little gay on the show guy. now. I'm just being myself. I'm just prime time 99. Hey, time. Well, here we See, go, Jacob. Always I'm have been, always will be. I've always been prime time 99, always will be, because that's what they used to call me in high school football. So they've been calling me that since I was 15 years old. So listen, I'm prime time 99 when I was high school, high, captain of my Highland Park football team. So it's the. It's, it, oh! Oh, James in Germany, C666 for the Illuminati. Oh, and, you know, I think, uh, you know, I, I definitely believe in God, Eric. I don't believe we evolved from pond scum, uh, but I believe religion, in essence, is bad. Organized religion can be corrupted and is used, like, as a manipulation tool. Okay, let's go. Eye candy in the building. Yeah, I'm going to freak. Ooh, eye candy in the, in the building. Uh, let's hear me again. Yay! Let's hear me again. Hi, nice to meet you. Who's supposed to dress up for this? My name is Mike McCarthy. I'm 48 years old. I'm it's my last hurrah. I'm going to be dead in a couple of years. Okay, this is my last big hurrah Her in life. The game this is my on. last big hurrah. Like right. hurrah. He, he did that on purpose. So on purpose, so fake, but God bless you. I know, but come on. I just want to be with you all day. I just want to touch you. I want to hug you. I love the purple glasses. I'm definitely a charming guy. I'm just being myself. I'm just prime time 99 Alex Steiner. Well, here we go, Jacob. We got some eye candy in the building. Yeah, I'm going to freak dance in this house. Uh, uh, I was well, going to freak dance. That you're here. Up here, I have a great view. I'll just say I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean... My tool meter just exponentially like went off. I'm not tool trying meter. to play three different girls in the house and try to feed lines to people. When I saw you, I was like, this yeah. is yeah. personal. Yeah, we're dominant men. I tell you, we could ride together the whole night. That's what we should do. <laughs> we got it. You had some cleavage going on there. Hey, guys. Please come to the wall. Oh. Unless I'm wearing a crew uh -oh. neck, it's kind of an inevitability, go. Alex. Now the creepy ass wall. <laughs> Sit on my lap. I'm always a pervert. Welcome, players. The viewers are voting and making decisions that influence the game. Oh! Oh shit! They've oh shit! Oh fuck! First decision. Uh, <gasps> uh, <gasps> what did you? They made a decision. How should the players be broken into teams for the first challenge? Oh! Old versus young. Men so, versus women. East versus west. East west. I bet you they do East vs. West. The viewers chose uh -oh, here it is. East vs. West. Oh, oh, why are we like reacting like that? How cringy Find is this? I hate watching now. this. Denver, West, East, uh, Oregon. What's that? I don't even know what I am. My stomach hurts watching this, Erica. I'm sick to my stomach. In the West, Oregon. 
No, you're, you're west. Oregon. Oregon. Okay, this way. <laughs> we discovered who the moron was. Oregon's pretty far west. <laughs> you're Oregon over there. <laughs> ah! He didn't even know his directions. Team what a west. dumbass. The challenge begins in one day. You have until then to choose your captains. Choose wisely, because the losing team captain, along with another member of the losing team, will both be expelled from the house into limbo, and the viewers will only save one of you. What? I should have never, and, and then I fucking is such a dumbass. Like, he's like, would nominate himself to be the captain. Like, God, I'm such a fucking idiot. I can't even watch this, Erica. I can't even watch this. I'm you literally going to watch this. <laughs> I have to to get the next level of free degree of masonry to get to your uh, uh, the levels. That's gonna suck. Yeah, that's kind of rough. That's yeah. rough. You want to avoid limbo at all costs. The longer you avoid limbo, the longer you stay in the house. Heck yeah. Let's see who's gonna step in. No, you, that's not true. The audience always votes. There's never an upset. Captain on the first. She knows better than you. She lasts it shorter. Let's throw that out there right yeah. now. Does anybody want to volunteer? <laughs> The benefit of volunteering, I don't say it. I personally do not want to be team captain. I feel like it's a little more of a gamble than I'm willing to take in week one. I thought it was a good thing that Jacob volunteered for captain because he was our best physical player and I figured it would help me out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, dude, we're lucky that we're on the same team. Oh, yeah. I'm such a I fucking loser. I got a big brain. <laughs> Did you hear that? They just played audio of me saying I have a big brain. I have a no brain. I have a small brain and even smaller wiener. Wow, this is pathetic. Your living quarters are now available. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, get your room. Run, get your room. Oh. I want to be in this room. I want to be in this room. This is my room. I love the vibe, the colors. I like the vibe. I want to live here for the rest of my life. This is amazing. So you'll see. Wow. I love it. The viewers put me in the enemy's bedroom with Holly because they didn't think that we would get along. We'll see. Ooh. I'm the most open-minded person so you will ever meet. This is crazy. Oh, yeah, what? Oh, oh, I know why. I know. I know. Because I have to go tinkle. I'll be right back. You, you narrate, Erica, please, please. What? I just said you dress him out. Yeah, watch the show. No, just you got it. I gotta go tinkle. You got it. I'm 21. I'm the youngest in the house, and Robin is a young, maybe 60 or something, or maybe late 50s. I like to get these. Robin was 42. 42. Holly is. Trouble, trouble. I'm a woman, not a child. And I need a man, not a boy. There are a lot of boys in this house who think they are men. I'm not interested in anything I could have given birth to. <laughs> I feel like Robin really rehearsed some of these lines. This is this amazing? Does this change? Like, is this like our room forever? This is great though. It's so good to have a real bed. I'm cocktail waitressing to stay afloat and I'm broke. So I have been sleeping on an air mattress with a leak in it. So thank you viewers. This for me feels like Cinderella. This is so, I feel like Mariah Carey is here. There's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we're gonna be two beds short. So the way it works in the bedroom is, um, Oh, so the doing? audience would vote who slept Honestly, where. We no, we 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 so we said Andrew we would. And I were we were in that room. Like, and I said we'll just do. I'm saying I'll see. I mean I'll see when I guys. I can get it. We ended up coming in circles. We ended up on different alliances. So that was a weird. Kevin, you sound too wild to be a cop. I thought cops were supposed to be dorks. Being a police officer is my job. I love it. But when I'm not at work. I like to have fun just like everybody else. I like to joke. You know, I'm me. And there's more to me than just being a cop 24-7. I guarantee I'm not like any cop you've ever met in your life. Yeah, no. I, mean, I, mean. <laughs> I don't think Alex got a bedroom that night. I think he was just unpacking in the living room. I think Whoa. he didn't find a bed in time. When we hear the chimes, we know that uh, the viewers are about to weigh in. I think we all get excited about that. Your viewers would like to welcome you with a housewarming party. Oh, yeah! I love you guys! Oh, 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 o
party. Well, if it's a pajama party, party, I did bring my one. You did not have it. I didn't even have a sky. I got a pink one with a strapped on. Bikini. We might have some nice little bikinis going on, and there's some definite beach bodies in this house. Woo! Come on, Chet. She needs to uh, vote. She wants you to vote on her, oh. on her stuff. Which one? Definitely that one. Definitely. I'm going to have fun if you wore, like, a burqa. I could care less. I mean... I think using my looks in the house gives me a great advantage. If they know I studied and have background in psychology, that would be the worst Worst play ever for me to put out there. Jean, can I share yeah, the shower with you? Yeah, did not have a snowball hey. camp got oh, over. She, just, she was the youngest. She was 21 and did not have a whole look lot. That's like, pretty everybody. You know how many women hate you right now, Holly? Because you look that hot. Like, I'm always going to get the party easy. started because that's just who I am. Now. I'm not afraid to get wet. I'm Next. not ashamed of my body. I'm okay, not, thank so. you for narrating. For everybody at home, these are the Lady Gaga Oreos. These are actually, I have to... I'm not sponsored by her, but I have to eat these online, part of the Illuminati ritual. So uh, Lady Gaga is one of the leaders of the transhumanist society. She believes in uploading her consciousness to the computer and living forever. So if you want to live forever, you can eat these Oreos. I know it sounds weird, um, but if you want to know about the assisted suicide, you eat these Oreos. It'll assist you in the suicide for the transhumanism project. So these are the Lady Gaga official Oreos. Thank you, Oreo. We're not sponsored, but I just I have to eat these on air. Um, can you give me hope, the background on this? No, I can't. There's no, I'm not allowed to actually tell you any background on this. I can't. But do you know that Lady Gaga has her own official Lady Gaga Oreo? No, I do now. I do now. I'll okay, try here. it. Okay, here, let me show you this. Hold on. Okay. Oh, shit. Private messages. Hold on. What was that, though, about her uploading her consciousness into a supercomputer? I feel like oh. that was what I... Oh, oh you, what don't, you don't know from. that? You don't know about the transhumanism project that she's invested in? She does uh, satanic ritualistic abuse with Marina Abramovich. They do what is called spirit cooking parties. So here, let me show you a little bit about... Uh, so you don't know anything about spirit cooking? No. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So Lady Gaga likes to do this thing called spirit cooking with Marina Abramovich where they... Were Where are they, we getting uh, our, our information here, Alex? What, these are what pictures. Are these are pictures of, of people. I don't want to show them because there are a lot of are perverted. But she does these. She does these things. Let me look them up here. She she goes to these parties with this woman, Marina Abramovich, and Marina Abramovich is a Satanist. So you don't know who Marina Abramovich is? No, huh? Uh, Let me show you. No. Um, I'm just wondering, wh how did you learn about this? Because she is a, a famous, uh, she's like, she works with like, you know, um, Microsoft, Bill Gates. She's really tight. Let me read you a little about Marina Abramovich. Looks like Isabella, um, Isabella Rosalini. She's hardcore. This bitch is crazy. Um, uh, she does spirit cooking. So let me go to her career rhythm. Let's go to, uh, she's, she does performance art. She's a lot like myself, except she worships Satan. Uh, uh. <laughs> Let me go to it. Well, it, it's just the font is so big. Let me, let me. Come on, where are you, Marina? I can't, I can't find it. I don't want. I want to pull up the pictures of the spirit cooking, but they're all X-rated because it's all like titties and shit. So I can't show you that. Okay, um, you tell me what spirit cooking is. Spirit cooking is they do. Okay, they do these occultic rituals. I got to do pull it in this one. I, they do these occultic rituals and they try to summon demons, but it's like done as an art project. Here, let me show you. Okay, so like this is a picture of Gwen Stefani eating cake. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. I'm so glad I'm here right now. Can I just say that? I have not laughed this hard in a long time. Okay, you see that? That's 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 an art piece. They get cake that looks like a human. So it's a, so it's a symbology. I don't see it. You, you don't see it. Look at the screen and look at my screen. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and what it, what's that supposed to be? She ate cake. I, that's a cake is like set up as like a human body, so it's really all funny here. They got so that's what they do. It's like they they like so it's like that shit. The person spirit. Well, kinda. It's like they do all this stuff. Like she 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 does these art projects like this. You read this with a sharp knife cut deeply into the middle of the finger, eat the pain. And so she she'll like run off a building and she writes with you know fake blood on these things. And it's supposed to be really like, you know, disturbing. And this is like the stuff she does, like just it's just satanic stuff like this. I know it sounds weird, but she actually does they actually do a ceremony to things called Baphomet and Moloch. See, there's it's called satanic ritualistic I don't know what abuse. Baphomet is. It's yeah, like Baphomet's a Babylonian satanic figure they worship. Yeah. 
In the, in the emails of Hillary, they leaked. It. She talks about how they're sacrificing chicken to Moloch. I can I can pull all that up. Well, but, there was a weird thing with the Freemasons, though. Like in a lot of Dane's books, I will like because I obviously don't. I don't think I go quite as far as you do into the conspiracy castle. But there was a lot of Baphomet iconography and the Freemason stuff that Dane has, and that always freaked me out because I was like, isn't that like a an ancient satanic thing, like the goat headed guy? How much fucking Baphomet was there in his shit? And how did you see it with all due respect, Erica, before you do that? This is actually a satanic cookie, these Oreos. Look, these are satanic symbols in Oreos, I swear to God. There's a conspiracy behind the Oreo symbol here. You want to see this? Now you don't believe me. You don't believe me. You don't believe me. I'm, Oreo. I'm trying to understand. I... <laughs> they all worship the devil. Okay, so the hidden Templar symbology of the Oreo cookie. You see the screen? The Oreo cookie is the most powerful and secret of cookies in all the world. It could be called the Holy Grail of cream filling and cookie. The Gnostic Warrior. Almost 5 million people, blah, 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 blah. But it's this. See, this is the Knights of Freemasonry. It's the Nabisco. Is that that logo is, is their symbology. I am interested in, like, iconography and stuff a lot. Um I, uh, this is for I, you, Lucifer. We eat these cookies. We eat these cookies for Baphomet. I don't think I'd go that far. <laughs> look, the green screen's on the cookie. Oh, because the cookie's green. Oh my God, Erica, look at this. Oh, wait, 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 motherfucker, wait. What's <laughs> happening right now? Motherfucker, wait! Do I look cool? <laughs> ah, yo, it's prime time. We got the Lady Gaga's. Please, the Illuminati's. Let me in the Illuminati and make me a famous broadcaster millionaire. Please, I'm begging you, let me in Illuminati. Okay. All right. I just want to clarify. There have been no, like, professional consequences for you from this podcast. Like... People oh, for sure. My life is ruined, but I'm in the car business. I'm a used car salesman. I'm a trash person, so I'm in the trash business. I sell junk cars. <laughs> I'm a trash... Don't call yourself a trash person. I'm a bail bondsman. I get out pimps and whores out of jail for doing sex crimes. I'm a terrible person. Is that why you're eating Satan Oreos? <laughs> Duh! Come on! Isn't that obvious? Look at the green in my teeth. Hey, for the one eye of Freemasonry, for the one eye Illuminati, for the all-seeing eye. Now this is the pineal gland. This is the all-seeing eye. This is the third eye. The this gland. is the third pineal eye. I bet the, I bet the people in the chat, I know, whatever gland, you know what I mean. Uh, I bet the people in the chat are going bananas. Look at that. Stop smacking into the mic. Oh, this mic's really nice. They can hear my smacking. My old mic couldn't hear it. Oh, mm, mm. Or ASMR is like, oh, mm. Mm -hmm. I, I like to have fun. The only bad thing about this is my man is come see what he is. Exactly. Let him see it, girl. Let him see it. Let him see it. I like it. Let him see it. Heads at so far. I think that they want to see us Ooh. apparently with a lot less clothes on. So I talk I about this is my Mandela effect. <laughs> nice. Hey, whoa. Whoa. Later after this. Whoa. 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 Okay. I figured we should watch the whole first episode, my only episode, the whole way through. Alex, I have to go at 11. No. Because we only, I do, but we, that. You have to stay, you have to stay and... on for longer than that, maybe, if we're still going. No, I said two hours. I can't. Erica, we got 180 hey, people watching right it. now. I guarantee it's going to be Mardi Gras beef. Watch, just watch. Guaranteed. Brother Bowers. Guaranteed. Guaranteed it's Mardi Gras beef. Oh, oh, just watch. Oh, Here. Get out of 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 here. Blew my mind. And I even brought boas into the house, and I hadn't even brought them out yet, and you guys gave us more boas. Yay! I love a pool party. Uh, I knew it was gonna happen the second I went in, all like 340 pounds myself jumped into it. I knew it was gonna over overflow, but I was like, Whatever. It's everywhere. It's oh, the viewers had given us a, a jacuzzi party. 
And then they ended up coming back with umbrella drinks, so they give us all the liquor. All right, here's a drink, by the way, for someone. And then out comes the awesomest platter of food. No, no sushi, no sushi, please. I don't think I saw him wearing anything. We even had this game for us to play, so everybody's excited. The party game was my favorite thing, the kiss and blow. I get to kiss and blow with Joy, who is a fox. It's always a dream to put my lips on Joy's lips. But way cooler than that wow. was Mike, who's a straight male, and Jeffrey, who's an openly gay male, kissing each other with a card in between it. <laughs> I'm really seen... mad out for it, Alex. Okay, we're watching this back in real time. Oh my gosh, we're watching. You don't have anywhere to go. What do you? Why? Why are you gonna? Erica, we're watching this full thing. You got to come back on the show. Yeah, are you willing to? At the rate that we're going, we're gonna be here for five hours. Sometimes I stream like that. This is the conspiracy castle, babe. We do shit weird here. It gets freaking weird. It's freaking I Sunday have night. Engagement. I mean, I'm good to watch the rest of this, but yo, I'm whatever it is, just he can engage with you live. We'll just turn on mute, and y'all just get. But I just want you to be your essence to be in the room at least, so you can hear me. Hey, uh, I just leave the volume on. Kiss a 300 pound gay man like that, and it was probably the greatest thing I've seen in the glass house. Okay, that's gay. That is gay, man. Friends. I'm it's gay easy. on this show. Yay! I'm gay. And, I'm and you know you know, I'm gay in real life because I'm married to a man. I have my cat's a boy. Skyberry's my husband. Did you know that, Erica, that I'm gay because I'm married cat, to a boy? I was going to ask you that earlier. Your cat's name is Skybear? Yeah, he's like my that. husband. Yeah. Where are you? You're married honey? to a cat named Yeah. <laughs> honey? Oh, he's busy. I, I, dinner, I left dinner out for you. <laughs> Miss the live webisodes this week? Oh, look at me flexing! This should be fun. <laughs> yes. What would you do if your child was gay? Murder! 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 Death! Execution! Public! What do they want you to say? I mean, how terrible is that? Like, you know how I'm saying, looking back at the show, the reason why I say that, Erica, is like, like, they're just trying to push the envelope, stir the pot. Like, what would you do if your son was gay? I mean, give me, isn't that the the biggest? Well, yeah, but I think that that was like part of the show. I think that what was kind of interesting about the show was like, we all represented these microcosms of American values. So they were always kind of like posing these really controversial questions for us to answer. And it was sort of like to gauge where America stood on the issue through us in a weird, like in a weird way. I've converted plenty of men to being gay. <laughs> no, you're not going to get me a cry. That's it. All right, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. For more. <laughs> you and Jacob were just tested up. You were too testosterone up. You were both just drunk on testosterone. More interactive <laughs> live action. It's something that hard at a 40. I hated that. Universe. He did that. I didn't throw anything at anybody, I don't believe. No, Jacob no. did, your best bud. It's like overkill, dude. Just He's white trash from Oregon. Give him a break. He's in the Pacific Northwest. He probably grew up in a barrel. He li His room was a barrel. You lived in a nice house. He lived in a barrel. His dad, he didn't have a dad. And when he did, he had a barrel under some wooden planks that it was his shelter. He didn't have his own room. So give him a break. To view and vote. We're going to try to decide who's going to be our team captain for tomorrow. You going to do that now? Yeah. You guys better do it, too. We got to make it pretty soon. Oh, well. Oh. I don't want to get red on my white shirt. I think Jacob. We can get him to volunteer. Come on. When we first arrived in the house, Jacob mentioned being team captain, and I really hope he goes through with it. Because he's Look at my hair. Player. And I'm not here to lose. I mean, that's the main strategy in this game. Is you Jacob looks win the challenges. ridiculous. You win the challenges, you can sleep easy at night. Our first team meeting. Okay, Jacob, I'm going to be real. I'm going to shoot you straight. Like, I'm just saying... Everybody here doesn't want to be team captain. You are kind of chirping like you might, and you would be a beast. I mean, yeah, I guess. Alex's smile became okay, so something tomorrow. that was legendary. Yes. <laughs> I'll be the captain tomorrow. Okay, I'm smile. confident enough that I'm going to do good, and I know that we're going to do good, so I ain't worried about it one bit. I'm so confident that we're going to win, so I don't really care that I am going to be the captain. Jacob is putting hes putting himself out there, being the leader. So to back him up. I'm not going to lie. I'm, a, I'm an idiot when it comes to, to like, smart. <laughs> I'm an idiot Jacob, when it comes to smart, tiny dumbass. 
<laughs> you, you can't write that shit. The you cannot line. write lines like that. Me, by all means, boom. I would not say I was the captain if I have one I don't part have of my body set. No pants well, on. Yeah, after we wrap the you're gonna be so I don't care about I'm not even thinking about that. Crazy. There's not a chance in my life. Of course, you steal my shine. I know you're just talking incoherently, but when I shine like that, you know that's illegal on my show, Erica. For you to, whenever I'm on the screen presenting, being presented, and you talk, I consider that a hate crime. I'm not kidding. I don't feel like George Floyd, but I feel close. I feel like the victim of George Floyd's family when you do that to me. I'm saying I'm not trying to bring light of his situation. I think his situation is that bad. I just think it's that bad when you do that to me. Show every day. Come on. You can. You're welcome. What world do you live in? And how do I use The truth out of the matrix. I'm plugged from the matrix. And you want to put your neck on the chopping block and save me? You might get me. I would not say I was the captain if I had one part. Look how dumb he is with those glasses. I want to choke. Punch him! It is, it's kind of like douchey Jason Mraz. Is the He's whole not even look. cool. Jason Mraz is a billion times cooler. Well, Jake, you could lose. Yeah, you're gonna be limp. I don't even care about. I'm not even thinking about that. Mm -hmm. There's not even a chance in my brain, brain, brain thinking we're not gonna win. No, no, guys, no. we're gonna win. Regardless if I'm the captain or not, the reason why we're all gonna be so. And if y'all can see, I have a cut on my hand. Because at the very beginning of the show, I was such a dumb fuck, guys, and they didn't even show oh, it. I forgot about that, Alex. You had to go to the hospital. On the first hour of the <laughs> show, the first yeah. night of the show, I was in the kitchen playing with a watermelon, playing around with a knife, trying to be funny, and I cut my finger open, sliced it, it went through. I put my hand on the other end of a, of a watermelon. The, the knife went through the watermelon and threw my hand on the other end. <laughs> And I had to get a bunch of stitches and from like a jack legged. It wasn't a hospital, it was a dock in the box from like a Romanian gypsy. It was ABC, but the guy was just like an emergency doctor slicing up my finger. It was really boo boo. And then they gave me pain pills. So I was in the house, like you weren't even there, I don't think, an hour before you got too excited and sliced through <laughs> your own finger and had to go to the hospital. Erica, you know I have emotion, and you know the whole nice. the whole thing of this show is you're not supposed to leave the house. And I get in the house, and I have the I, the one excuse you can leave the house is for a medical emergency. And it's like you know, Erica, I don't wear the mask because I everywhere I've never worn the mask. I just say I have a medical uh, issue, and they can't say shit. And I you are I use so a part of the problem. I know. Oh, I'm the biggest part. I'm the mask. biggest encourager. I'm the biggest anti master I'm saying, yeah, yeah, I'm the worst problem because of that. But I'm saying I always say that. But it's because I really do have mental health issues, so I'm not lying. So it's so really, I'm just, you know, let me let me just have my mental health issues, okay? You know? Not only am I in limbo, but someone in this else room is, is going me, on. Which we do not want. So that's why we are going to not lose, period. Yes. Right. Well, no, let's not say we're not going to lose. That is exactly how you lose because the world curses people who say that. No, but we're no, all going to no, get it. No, that's not true. This is the no, satanic like figure said, on the Oreo. So the captain right now is because I got no doubt that we're not going to win. He can't even talk. He can't even talk. So, first thing, I mean, before we go to any of this, is just backup plan. Well, it's sound between a, a random versus, uh, you know, we pick. Unless somebody wants to volunteer. We've had this time to sleep on yeah. it, right? Yeah. So I think we should leave the floor open to that first. Can you volunteer. tell which team has the smartest people on it? <laughs> yep. I'll volunteer. Are you serious? This is, hey, this is also my cat service. This is Skybear service animal card. I have the updated one just in my wallet. This is an old one from his last owner. So I can take Skybear with me. So that's why I've never had to wear the mask. I just bring my cat. And they can't say anything. What? what do you mean bring your mask to wear? Bring your cat to wear? Like if I go to the grocery store, I just bring Skybear and I show him this card and then I don't have to wear my mask. So it's an it's an emotional support national registry registered ESA animal. So I will. I'm nervous, but yeah, let's do it. I felt like volunteering to be team captain was something that our team needed. There was a growing awkwardness that was happening, and I just wanted to eliminate it and kind of take the risk. All right, let's win this for Jeffrey. For we Jeffrey, gotta, we gotta win for Jeffrey. For Jeffrey. All right. for Jeffrey. Jeffrey was the best. All right, this so challenge the is the most okay. amazing one um, in the entire series. Some of you guys might like this, just and some wait, of you might not just like wait it. For Alex's this is how it's going to go down. Gonna you're going to love it. You're going to eat I'm it. I'm not going to form any alliances with. Okay, now, okay, now on my show once again, Erica. You're welcome on any time, but if you ever say that again, if you ever tease me on my own show again, I swear I'm going to take one of these Lady Gaga Oreos and I'm going to do one of her satanic rituals. 
I'm just saying I'm going to do one of her rituals on you. And I know I don't know if it's going to work. You can say it doesn't work, but if you take a shower and a clump of your hair falls out in the drain, then it worked. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Then chill with the stuff. With it. you can criticize me. I actually, I want you to criticize me extra hard. But just remember, I might do the ritual. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? It's called Revelation of the Method. See, that's what the Illuminati does. See, they reveal it, and then they tell us. Like, 9-11, there's a lot of predictive programming uh, before the towers fell down. And trust me, you know, 9-11 was an inside job done in order to pump up the military-industrial complex and start a never-ending war in the Middle East and also destabilize the seven biggest threats to Israel. So um, it was uh, done by a shadow government uh, created uh, through the Project for a New American Century that was Joe Biden was a part of that was actually the original Patriot Act that they put in. And what's going to happen now with the contact tracing app, it's going to be the Patriot Act 2.0, and you're going to have an app on your phone that's going to make sure that you social distance and that you wear and have your vaccine and that you're wearing your mask properly you in the future. you have your therapy cap? That's what I'm saying. I don't have to do any of that shit <laughs> because I got, I got like a bunch of therapy cats. That's what I'm saying. So I'm fine. I'll be fine for sure. But I'm about to go to Mexico as soon as this show. See, Erica, that's I'm saying, Erica, in about one year, this show is going to be like the biggest show on TV, on fake TV, digital. And then I'll be in Mexico with my cats and then I can do whatever, you know, with anybody. I like it, man. I'm not going to vote anybody off. Neither. Every time you guys go into limbo, whoever is on the losing team is going to choose their own destiny. Basically, you guys are going to pick a card, and then that card's going to represent you. I'm going to shuffle it. This is the weirdest pull strategy the card, ever. Whoever it is, is going to be my <clears throat> pillow. Apollo's so random. He's not choosing sides. He's not forming alliances. He's not trying to backstab or double cross, but then that doesn't help anyone else in the, in the house. Passion. He's more into the, the relationship aspect of it than the actual game. And Apollo, you're in the glass house. I need, I need you to play the game. So that's my strategy. So there you go. I'm just laughing at him. Apollo's blown it with his cards. <laughs> it's a dumb strategy. It's, it's not going to work for him. Right. He's shooting himself in the foot here. That's it. He thinks a journey. <laughs> Dude, my adrenaline level is, is running through the roof. You know why it's running through the roof? Because I'm high on pain pills for my hand surgery. I'm smacked out on hydrocodone. That's why I'm like this. That's why I lost, and I'm mentally handicapped. Remember this. Before you watch this, guys, I'm smacked out on hand pain pills on hydrocodone. Not an excuse. I'm a pussy bitch ass. Excuse my language. It's time for your first challenge. <laughs> Team captains. Please step forward. Jeffrey. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Big dog. Oh. Remember, Our. one player from the losing team will be voted into limbo along with its captain. The viewers will then decide who returns and who will be eliminated from the game forever. West team, you're up first. Please head out to the arena now. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Players, in this challenge, communication is key. You will match up the uh, names Alex, of the opposing team's players with a very revealing fact they made about themselves prior to entering the glass house. To make a match, you must... And Erica, I really, I'm dead serious. I want you to make fun of me as much as possible. I'm dead serious. But I'm still going to do, I just, it, it, I still might do the ritual, but please make fun of me as much as possible. Just let me know. Because I'll turn down, I'll pause it. Well, just let me know to pause it. You just, you were a bright star and you burned out fast, buddy, but you were easily the most entertaining part of the show. I think you say that at one point in the episode and the thing is, it's true. Must rotate the large blocks so that the colored lines connect the correct names with the fact. Four of you will be on the lifts turning the blocks, while two of you will send them up and down by remote control. The team that correctly matches all of their opposing team members to their fact in the fastest time wins the challenge. Captains, meet with your teams and assign positions. Good luck. Okay, guys, we got, we got, we got to start on this side first, and so we got to know the ones we know. Like, I know Kevin grew up on country music, so we got to turn these first. So these are the most important. Well, I, I don't know. We have smarter people that can do. Say what you want. I'm so sick to myself. I got to eat an Oreo. I'm stressing out my level. I need a serotonin hit. I have to take an Oreo. I'm serious. I'm stress eating. Watching this makes me cringe so much that I know if I eat this at the same time, the sugar will create a metabolic process inside my body that will bring me instant pleasure. 
and it'll make it less hard. It'll medicate the pain watching this public humiliation ritual. Do the smarter stuff. I will do the athletic competition stuff. You're I'm going to come. That was the I best. I twist stuff fast. I'm straight Ridiculous. smart, not common sense smart. Here, Ashley, you get in the captain's seat. What am I? Because you're the smallest. I'm saying you're the smallest. He's going on the crane. You're going on the crane. You're going right, on the crane. I'm, 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 by remote control the team that correctly it. matches all of their opposing team members to their fact in the fastest time wins the challenge captains meet with your teams and assign positions good luck okay guys we got we got we got to start on this side first and we got to know the ones we know like i know kevin grew up on country music so we got to turn these first so these are the most important and then we got to go backwards we have Why smarter people that can do the smarter stuff i will do the athletic competition Stuff. You're going to count this because I can twist stuff fast. I'm street smart, not common sense smart. I can twist I'm street stuff. Street smart, not common sense smart. I'm street smart, not common sense smart. Like you cannot write these lines that Jacob just came up with. I think it's more egregious. He said he's good at twisting things fast. What the fuck does that mean? How much manual labor in your life that you think that's a compliment? Like if anybody was to tell me, oh man, you're really good at twisting that, I'd be like, dude, I don't even lift my own furniture, dude. And you're gonna tell me I'm good at twisting shit, dude. I'm a I I have nails that I don't want to fuck up. There's no way I'm twisting shit, dude. Come on. This is ridiculous. Here, Ashley, you well, get in the captain's seat. Okay. Kind of what Jacob did for a living, right? Twist some shit. Oh my god, he twisted it. Wow. Come on. But on dun you crush it with that. Like we're talking about, he did self-exposition mas uh, masturbation videos. So that's what we're talking about. Because you're the smallest. And the ABC staff was not happy when they learned about that only after episode one, which is, as we'll see, why Jacob does not come back. <laughs> well, he ran away, supposedly. He supposedly just ran away from the house, supposedly. <laughs> the, the hotel, yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'm like 100% sure Kevin grew up on country music. Wrong. Only as a kid, Robin. <laughs> Stephanie. Started college at 16. Oh. The fuck would I know if anybody got bullied as a kid? What an asshole. Why am I so stupid? Like, oh, Robin got bullied as a kid. Like, I'm Siegfried, Siegfried, Sigmund Freud. I'm such a psychological analyst. I can tell. Oh, that bitch had so much psychological trouble from her just introducing her name 30 minutes ago. I can tell she was bullied as a child and it affected her so much that she said it in the casting process so much so that it was a part of the shape of her life. And I can immediately dictate that. Just through meeting her because I'm the smartest guy ever. God, I'm such a fucking idiot. Excuse my language for the children watching this. This is a uh, uh, PG-13 show. You get that? Mike taught middle school basketball. More than likely. I'm never going to be in the backseat just letting people control the game because I was uh, <laughs> captain of my high school football team in Dallas. Okay, you know how my voice is all craggly like that? Because I'm on the sauce. I'm sauce boss. They call me, I'm like Tony Soprano on that episode of Sopranos where he goes to Vegas and does a bunch of peyote right there. Listen to my throat. Listen to, I'm like, uh, uh, I'm like on, my pupils are dilated. My, my, you know, my constipation. I could tell my, my sphincter is tight because it dehydrates you a little. I could tell right there. Alex, That's we didn't have booze in the house on challenge days. I know, but I'm saying they gave me my pain pills like every few hours. You know how they would give you medication? <laughs> and so I was on a bunch of pain pills. That's what I'm saying. From calm down a little bit if you're on Vicodin or something, but no. I, I wasn't, I didn't take the pills. I wasn't on Vicodin and then I didn't have a tolerance. I was on the twist it off on the sauce. Listen to me talk. Bully is a kid, Robin. Bully is a kid, Robin. Yes, they would give me hydrocodone for my hand. They I had a prescription of hydrocodone that, that when I cut my finger, they were giving me a prescription hydrocodone. I would go like every few hours and nurse would administer it. I didn't get to have the bottle on me. Oh, you had liquid hydrocodone? No, but I mean, it was a pill, but I'm just oh, okay. the metaphorical sauce. You know, opiates. You know, forget you I can said take, anything. Forget come I said on. Anything. You act like you've never taken a pain pill before. Okay, Miss oh, Russell. My leg. I just I know what you're saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I do speak in, uh, you know, weird vernacular. Mike taught middle school basketball. More than likely. I'm not going to be in the back seat. Just like likely. People. Listen to me. This is what I'm talking about right here. 21, 22. Okay, this, listen to my voice. It's like 20. I'm like, I'm never going to be in the back seat. It's like I smoke cigarettes. Okay. I'm never going to be in the back seat just letting people control the game because I was uh, captain of my high school football team in Dallas, Texas, the Holland Park Fighting Scots. And I'm a stud when it comes to competitions, guys. I hate to lose. Begin. Hey, Jacob. Go, hey, Jacob. Jacob go to this. Oh. Okay, wait. Hey, hey switch. Wait, no, no, no. Go to the second one. 
Jacob, switch Kevin, because we know who Kevin is. No, leave it, leave it, leave it. You need to switch again. This one? Hey, Jacob, Jacob. Wait, no, 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 go to the second one. The most frustrating part of the game was the fact that we figured everybody wasn't going to be talking, and then, of course, everybody was talking. We know Mike is a high school basketball player. Why we get Ari now? How did we know that? Switch, turn that, turn that. Erica, Erica, turn. Erica, Erica, turn. Start turning. We need to get all of them unveiled. Turn it, turn it, switch it off. It was so, so chaos. First of all, the captain is not appointing. Someone else is appointing you to be the point person, but no one's listening to the point person. Good, leave that it, one's good. It, that that one's right, Erica. Okay, yeah, that one's good, right, that right. one's right. Move this one. Okay, okay move wait. this one. Oh, come on, guys. Why can we not get this right? Wait, wait, wait. Where's, right wait, where, where is, is it? Okay. We need to get, right we need to get Robin right. purple. Turn yours. That was right. the bottom one, the bottom one, the bottom one. Right. Bottom one. Right. We need to make it. Okay, it's not working. I mean, I was trying to say the whole time, just match up the, the colors. Like, don't try to guess at the back. Just try wait, to wait, match wait, wait, the colors. Where is it? 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 We're so retarded because we're so stupid and narcissist. I'm such a narcissist. I'm not selfish. I'm such a narcissist. And I believe in self-preservation that I thought I was the smartest person. I couldn't even think for one second how to play this game strategically. I was just yelling, Robinson basketball coach, I swear. I, I, I guess I'm such a fucking idiot. So I'm, I'm so fucking stupid. You're 100% right. But what are you going to do? Okay, it's not working. That's wrong, too. Robin's not purple. I think we need to work from yeah, right to so. left. Yeah. Alex is screaming one thing, Apollo's yelling another, and to me, it's just efficient to have one person look at the whole thing and then direct the others. Let's listen to one person and let's make it Apollo. Feeling, Alex, I, I always figuring out puzzles. To so the ceiling, cause that's where the, you know what I'm talking about in confessional? I hate those shots where I'm looking up at the ceiling, but you're, that's where, like, you weren't in the confessional booth with an actual person. It was just, the producers being piped in from a speaker, but that was coming from the ceiling. So I was always talking upward to the ceiling and they had to tell me like, Erica, stop looking up at us. Just talk to the camera. I mean, wouldn't you only have to solve like the top and then you just solve it level yes, by Alex, level? That's exactly what you would only have to have done. I'm glad you figured it out nine years later. It's like, and I used to love like global guts and all that stuff. You would just do it one more level. Yeah, you would just figure it out. You'd do like a corner. And then... Wow, that's really weird that I'm that big of a fucking idiot. That's really bad. And I have a call. I had a college degree from a college. That shows you how you didn't learn anything. I just just took bong rips and drank vo vodka in college. I didn't learn anything. It was a waste of my time. But I did get a degree. So. I kind of intuitively knew that I should have taken a leadership role, but it was like the first challenge and I didn't want to just like dominate. I wanted to listen to everybody. This is symbology for kid love. Erica, do you see that? This is the Gaga Oreo. This, this is some sort of this is some sort of symbology for some sort of kid love. Just match them up. There's only one way to win, so just forget who's who's who. Just get the colors. Alex, you're gonna go down. Oh yes, it is. Alex. All right, here we go. Go down, go down. How to work as a middle school basketball coach? No, Holly, a basketball coach? Are you kidding me? Who'd have thought that? I mean, everything everything we thought was obviously backwards. Wait, wait, it's match. Is it done? Just right. Just is it right. Done? It's oh, not no, right. right. Come on, get it. Just drop her now. Just drop her now. That's it. Yeah, there's there's no way they beat yeah. that. There's no way they beat that. Good work, good work. Damon, last word. Please. This team, it's now your turn. Watch oh the God. other team. Make what is this? Oh, yes. Yes. yes! We got this, we got this. I was so super excited when I saw the challenge because IQ and smarts are definitely going to be helpful. I am in Mensa, so I think that my brains are definitely going to be a big part uh, for solving that challenge. Like, get these first two columns yeah. right. A lot of these challenges were more about, about intellect. At the beginning of the challenge, Stephanie became an unofficial co-captain because <laughs> I was a, I was a little nervous going into it a quick note about direct communication could you please either listen to me or Stephanie that, that's where I'd like to see the direction coming from it that is how we should have first everybody begin. flip everybody fiddle everybody flip all right part in the last one up, like, one up. guys great. I thought we just one up one, one up one up one up and no one moved one up like great which one are we sure of Okay, go with go with Jean. Jean's the video guy. Jean, Jean, Jean loves video games. We know that. Okay. Is video games purple over here? 
Yes. It is. Awesome. Okay, okay, that one's right then. At the beginning, my brain started doing the calculations and how many different permutations were there. But what we wanted to do was concentrate on the first column and the last column, and especially like match up somebody that we thought we were pretty sure of. Who else do we know? What do we know, guys? Okay. So what do we know? Oh, we Ashley, Ashley's a singer. Ashley's a singer. Sing in front of the stage. Maybe Look it at is. Holly. Is that Holly? Yeah. Yeah. One more, one more, Holly. Simple. Now that's the, that's it. All right, now we need to connect here. Oh, it's all you, it's all you. Go up, what up. There it is. Yeah. There you go, there you go. Good work, guys. Does it look right? Check, Check it out. out. Check it out. Make sure they make sense. Okay, so Alex is meditates twice a day. Andrea. Alex, there's no fucking way that you meditate. Has never tried alcohol. Right. Apollo. No, I made that up. Uh, I made that. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I made that a hundred percent up because I thought I was trying to get some sort of strategy. They're like, tell us something about you, and I just made something up that wasn't really that about me. Unexpected, yeah, because they didn't really tell us why they wanted that info. Mm -hmm. But then I do do okay. yoga now. But everybody's definitely gonna think I worship Satan, serve the Oreos and the meditation, because that's like definitely a cultic. Uh, um, you mean they're gonna think and, you worship Satan? You put an Oreo in your mouth and said this is for Lucifer. <laughs> yeah, but that's just for him. That's not between y'all. I feel real good about that. I feel real good about that. I would have never figured that Erica was a Fisher woman. Please, and Alex meditating twice a day. You know, with his energy level, he might consider four or five times a day. The results of the challenge are in. Team West completed the puzzle in seven minutes, four seconds. Team East completed their puzzle with a time of three minutes, 54 seconds. I am overwhelmed. Like I feel really good about the risk I take and that it paid off and that our team worked together so well. I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to cry. Congratulations, team. Every kind of everything was you great. You are now safe for the week. Jacob, you will be heading to limbo at the end of the week. So sad. Soon the house will vote on which of your teammates will be joining you. What are you talking about? <laughs> we as a team. We did the complete opposite of what I thought we were going to do. First we come up, man. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you I am definitely bummed about going to limbo because yeah. I really think they're right. going to throw Alex in there with right. me and then it's just going to be a toss-up. We're really the only two athletic guys. Holly. Holly. Alex, I have to pee. I'll be right back. All right. You promise me not to vote. I promise I'm not gonna vote you. I mean, I'm honestly worried because there's a good chance that they're gonna take try to take me out. I mean, I'm prime time nine in high Alex Stein. Do you think you're gonna vote for me, Mike? Excuse me? Do you think you're gonna vote for me? I'm not gonna even answer that question. Oh. Alex is completely overplaying his hand. The challenge just ended, and literally, he was campaigning within seconds. This moron, he he doesn't even get it. When are you gonna do your card trick? You guys wanna do that now? It's a little soon, man. A little soon. We don't know when we're gonna vote. Like it could be a few days from now. But if you pick me on that card thing, then I would have to vote for you. When I see a perp that acts like that, I see somebody who knows that their days are probably numbered and they're heading to the Huskow. Now th this isn't gonna be the Huskow. This is gonna be limbo. I was not in a good mood. I need a spanking right now. Somebody needs to give it to me. What? Because I need a spanking right now. Someone needs to give it to me. I've been a bad, bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> Total Wait, we got to pause for Erica. <laughs> so this show is insane for the people at home. You know, I know you guys are probably like, oh, what is this? Alex is just show. This is in 2012. Nine years ago, a young man, myself, trying to make it in the world. Still trying. Grinding every day. Primetime 99. Alex Stein on the grind all the time. You know, it's never going to stop till we get on top. But. It ain't easy being this greasy, guys. So I really want to wait till Erica gets back because she's looking real good over here. Her 2834. I have that. a European attitude towards things. Post for Playboy, and I think that a part of who we are as women, as men, we're sexual creatures. Play what? What? Ooh, what's that? Too much stuff. 
on that. Yeah, that's I like right. that. You can do that again. I like it. Do it again. You do like it. You're like all about like the butt smacking. We are about the butt smacking. Aren't we? Handcuffing. And what? Hair Hand pulling. Cuffing. If you haven't noticed, Joy is in info. Oh, she no. is not a black or white she, girl. She is a Fifty cool. Shades of Grey girl. <laughs> Dude, really though, I think it'd be really funny if you guys both put on my bathing suits. We need to play a game. Remember this one, Alex? Remember this one? I would really like to see yeah, hey. my thong. We're gonna show this. Look at you. Look at look at you. Look, Erica. Look at what, what you got going on. I said I need to look at that. But uh, look at your head. Put your head on that body right now. Can you see the screen? Look at my screen. What? Look at your head on top of your breasts right now. Look at my screen. Do you see how your head's perfectly rested on your bosoms? Come down a little, like scooch down a little. Continue. I know, but scooch down no. a little so it looks like your head's on your your no, thing. No, I'm not doing that. This it. isn't editing. No, just cover that. I'm saying, put it. Yeah, put the screen up. Lift the screen a little up. You're a ludicrous human being. No, I'm not doing that. Continue. I'm just banking right now. Someone needs to give it to me. I've been a bad, bad girl. <laughs> you've been a what? Is that you saying you've been a bad girl, or is that, that joy? joy? Why has she been so bad? She, we were just talking about sexy stuff. What do you think she was implying, though? Like, what do you think she's done she bad? Likes to like, talk, Alex, I think that's what she's implying. They like, but do you think like more than normal sex, like anal or something, or is she like, like what, like what was bad? Like missionary sex wouldn't be necessarily considered bad. Like, do you think she was like talking about like sex with toys, or do you think she was talking about like sexual manipulation? Do you think she was talking about like sex with candles and hot wax? Like, what, like what kind of vibes did you get? Um, just that she liked to fuck, and she was kind of making a joke. I think. Oh shit, everything's a joke about really sex, speculate. right? I don't really like jokes. I just don't like people to joke around personally. <laughs> Total info. <laughs> I didn't realize I was that transparent. I have a European attitude towards things. Plus we're Playboy, and I think that a part of who we are as women, as men, we're sexual creatures. It's like what? What oh that's much stuff to on that. Yeah, that's I like right. that. You can do that again. I like it. Do it again. You do like it. You're like all about like the butt. Snacking. We are about the butt smacking, aren't we? Handcuffing. And what? Hair Hand pulling. Cuffing. If you haven't noticed, Joy is in info. I'm not even a black and white girl. She is a Fifty Shades of Grey. What'd you say? Didn't we just watch this? Maybe. Grey girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let loose. I'm gonna cut loose. Dude, really though, I think it. Look at that bod. Look at that bod. That's how you gotta look for the people at home. I just wanna. <laughs> For the women in the audience, for the women in the audience, y'all can pause it right here uh, to the 2910 mark. Somebody mark that. One of the female audience members, please, for the people, uh, I can mark that. Alex Stein, topless, looking suave, uh, debonair, beautiful, lean. Not the most, look, not the most handsome guy, but just a handsome I enough for. A handsomeness <laughs> enough where it's non-threatening. So it's the perfect kind of handsomeness, you could argue. Really though, I think it. It would be really funny if you guys both put on my bathing suits. We need to play a game where we switch underwear. I would really like to see you in one of my thongs. Go give me one of your thongs. I'll walk around the Let's get the game started. What? I came here to be Primetime 99 Alex Stein, and I am going to just do my thing. I didn't just come here to sit in a hot tub and just whisper about who I'm going to vote off each week. I came here to make things interesting and shake things up. You think America will like these shorts? I forgot that I cross-dressed on national TV. I kind of forgot that I put on women's underwear on national TV. So y'all didn't oh, know this. I forgot that I did this kind of now, looking back. This real, the humiliation ritual is strong. Around the house. Without me, this is gonna be a Look how disgusting that is. Look how disgusting that is. That's the last thing a person sees before they burn in hell for the rest of their life. They see that picture of that. They see a still frame of that with a mic pack. Look at the mic pack on my fanny. That's the fanny mic pack. That is for people at home. If you want, if you're trying to go on a diet and you're hungry, screenshot this picture. And every time you want to eat, just look at this, and you'll lose your appetite. This is one of the best diet methods that you can do. You'll look at this photo because the farts that were coming out of that ass and right there. <laughs> No, I'm serious. I'm talking about some heavy hitting farts because I was on Vicodin, so I was really constipated. So you're looking at a constipated derriere farting out Vicodin filled farts, just feel, filling the room with constipated toots, toots of, toots of pain.
toots of shame. I'm just doing anything I can. I figure, hey, if I put on women's underwear and I prance around the house, maybe the world will save me. And they should have saved me. I mean, they should have saved me, but it's my own fault. Boring, boring place. Right behind you, Andrea. Your husband would be stuck. This is probably. The I'm blurred out. Did you see my shunky junk was blurred out? Blurred out. What the fuck? Are you, you serious? Like Disney, dude. I know, but and shake things up. You think America will like these shorts? I'll put on a thong and I'll prance around the house. Without me, this is gonna be a boring, boring, boring place. Right behind you. And Oh my god, my penis is blurred out on national we TV. We just covered this. Literally. That that is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. This is the worst thing that a human being can do, the lowest form of entertainment. But probably one of the best, probably one of the most entertaining <laughs> things. The best, I mean top notch. You can't beat this entertainment. Probably this is one of the best. This is Next level entertainment that you could not create. It takes a mind of a maniac, and that's why I'm going to reach the top because they didn't want, they stopped me here. I should have reached it here. I was on the right path. They just, I fucked myself up. This is, this would have taken me to the top. More of this. Andrea, your husband would be so, this is probably the most naked man you've seen in a long time. I think it kind of would have been there in the end. If High not five, the villain's Over what? You did a heel turn. Whoa. <laughs> I was the villain. <laughs> Whoa. Well, like it was like an interesting experiment. Oh, yeah somebody to do though well i guess we haven't even got into that is it i mean have we even asked the audience yet hold on no we're not even and the thing is i do have to go in 10 minutes believe me you've got okay. nothing this is ridiculous it's, it's, it's wildly inappropriate kevin is a little baby back bitch i mean it's 2012 people need to loosen up a little bit he's such a square have some respect there's married women in here don't be so inappropriate it's obnoxious Oh, Pussy. Seven -year -old. Kevin? Fortunately, we're not going to have to worry about it long. I'm confident of that. Oh, Kevin, the cop. You're really heated about that. <gasps> don't, 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 don't. I'm just saying. Trust me. Just trust so me. Relax. Trust me. You have no respect for anybody in this house. Or yourself, for that matter. I'm I mean, sure you know what I'm wearing? You know, I'm wearing a Whitney Houston t-shirt right there. I'm wearing, I swear to God, that is a Whitney Houston t-shirt. How could you not respect me? That is a Whitney Houston t-shirt. She was alive at this point, I believe. You want to be funny, you want to be the center of attention, that's one thing. But do not <laughs> R.I.P. Whitney. R. R. I just want to say R.I.P. Whitney for all the Whitney stands in the audience. R.I.P. Other people, especially the women in the house. Crazy inappropriate things to a married woman with three kids. I mean, I can tell you don't, you obviously don't like me very much. I, that's obvious. Alex, what? give you guys some space. Get in the hot tub and cool off. I mean, I can tell you don't, you obviously don't like me very much. Okay, that's Whitney Houston for you guys at home that are playing at your scorecard. That is, and that's hard to see on. They're playing on your scorecard? Did you do like a scavenger hunt for this? <laughs> Well, in the future, they might use this old footage. They might be able to, I might create a scavenger hunt. Go find when I was wearing the Whitney Houston shirt. So this is just this documented Whitney Houston shirt for future scavenger hunts uh, for Easter eggs. It's obvious. Alex, what? give you guys some space. Get in the hot tub and cool off. Damn it, that was the best shot of her, but RIP Whitney. You have said some crazy inappropriate things to a married woman with three kids. I mean, I can tell you don't, you obviously don't like me very much. I, that's obvious. Alex, what? give you guys some space. We'll get in the hot tub and cool off. I mean, I'm just crazy. Let him be. What did I do like a you child. Know. It's not what you do to me, it's what you're doing to yourself. Look at the other people in this house. Oh, you are so wow, $5.33, tap, tap, thank you. <laughs> are you that upset, Andrea? Kevin's pissed off. To be perfectly fair, it is a little disrespectful to be doing public thrusts at me when I'm married. You walk out. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I mean, I don't give a shit. And okay, out in your underwear and doing a little dance, that's you having fun. But we're in power too yet, you know? Just don't force it on other people. I didn't mean to disrespect you. I'm sorry. I'm just joking okay. around. I just can't believe Kevin got so... Do you see it says Whitney Houston? Can you see that? I know it's just very small, but right there, 
I just want to notice that not a lot of people go on national TV when they choose their clothes, Erica. They choose different clothes. I was only on the show for a short time. I could choose any outfit. I I packed all those clothes. And you this didn't is the know that you were only going to be on the show for a very short time. <laughs> well, I was high on Vicodin too. So I, of course I was in Whitney. I was Houston mode. That's what I'm saying. So I was like on Vicodin for my hand. And so I was in a Whitney Houston mindset. Okay. Way more mad than you are. Okay, what do you think? Ashley is so boring. I know Paulo's being such a little baby bag, bitch. Joy's always used her huge to get her whatever she wants in life. Dude, everybody in this house sucks besides you, dude. That's gay. Saved by the bell, yeah. I know, right? So every week we get the chance to ask oh. viewers a question. It could be something silly or it could be something strategic about the game. But this in the end, only call. we know what we asked, so only we understand the answers. It is time to reveal the viewers' answers to your questions. There you are. Who's it more important for me to align with, women or men? <laughs> Here she is. Is Ari the race car driver still on The Bachelorette? That's so lame, yeah, Erica. Race car no, still it wasn't the because I didn't trust the audience to give me a. Uh, that was strategic. I didn't trust. The I know. I'm sure answer. that's smart. It's just annoying when you do smart shit like that. It's annoying because I'm doing all this idiot shit like not even knowing. You were on right after the Bachelorette, so I thought it was good cross promo. That I is it smart. It is smart. It's just annoying as shit when you're all smart like that. Oh. oh. I'm like farting for my life. I'm trying to put on women's panties. I'm cross dressing on live TV and women's clothing. You were, you were doing what they call too much, man. You, you could have just like chilled back a little bit, banked those so, fires just a bit, but. So less cross dressing? <laughs> my fans are question for this week is. I mean, this is before Caitlyn Jenner. I kind of paved the way for Caitlyn in a way, honestly. Yeah. Shut your goddamn mouth. Absolutely non I mean, on ABC, this is a big. This is a big stage. To be fair, this is a big stage in front of to see a man in women's underwear on live TV and on ABC, you and I get breaking no. Breaking boundaries, okay? You. I not broke a bound. What do you mean? I had my penis blurred. You guys, how very few penises get blurred on ABC Channel Eight here in Dallas? I've never seen a penis blurred on ABC in my entire life. I've seen a lot of penises. I've seen a lot of ABC. I've never seen one blurred. Okay. So don't talk to me like you fucking have seen blurred dicks on ABC all damn day. I'm one of the only dicks you've ever seen blurred on national TV live. It's a live dick blur. Okay? So respect it. I was in women's underwear for the movement. Okay? I'm not saying it's all due to me, but I certainly didn't hurt the movement. Okay? With all due respect. Five minutes, Alex. Five minutes. No, five minutes. Well, wait, no, because we have like seven is, minutes. You can go five minutes over. We're almost done. Just got to finish. We just got to finish the episode. Yes. We're almost done. Okay, okay. That makes me feel better. Here we go. Should I turn into the most epic villain in the history of reality TV? Yes or no? happy with it. It's fantastic. Yeah. It might be good um, for you all of us. <laughs> oh, yes. that's good. Okay, here, let me fast forward. My parents were really, really, like, overprotective. I was crazy. Like, my last year and a half, I lived in Arizona. Hey, let's watch notice, it. Like, well, I like strippers. No, we don't have to, Alex. We don't have to. I don't want you to feel bad, because I know you're not my like My strategy in this game nah, is to be the most nah. entertaining reality watch this, TV huh? show character in the history of the world. And by doing that, I'm gonna piss these people off. Kevin, you know what I don't get? That yesterday you apologized to Jacob for calling me out, but you never apologized to me about it. No, 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 Do you want to talk? No, yeah. I don't want to. I mean, you're a dork. You're just a loser cop. Do you know wow. what? Wow. just all get along, dude. No, I'm just saying, Kevin, you're just a, a D-bag. Alex, you're a loser. Joy, I can care less what you think. You can't even keep a husband or get married, so. But you know what? what? Okay, okay. I can care less what you think. Dude, please, America, don't freaking send that douchebag back in here because I can't deal with it. Is it not bad if you're Mormon to go on a reality TV show? Mm, like people in your church? I'm just saying, you're going to have to lie to somebody in this house. <sighs> I mean, lying's bad. Isn't it saying the Bible wants to lie? In the game, 
Sometimes you have to do de you have to deceive. So the game's an excuse that you can do whatever you want. I don't consider it to be like I'm a liar. Ah. Oh, do you think it's bad that you shared a bedroom with Kevin? Like, is that not morally bad? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm just asking. You wouldn't want a girl sleeping on your husband's floor right now. True. I don't know why I let that guy get to me. I'm gonna push your buttons. I'm gonna make him cry. Because they're all mentally weak. So I'm gonna bring the heat every single second in the house. Alex, could you just do me a favor and you please just give me some space right now? I live in this house too, so I can go wherever I want. You're being okay. a jerk right now. You're showing your true colors. You're gonna be so embarrassed. When you see I was just wearing her practice, panties. You have no this class, is, and you're I, very I, oh, I like, she came on a rally show. She was my only like friend. I was wearing her panties, cross-dressing with her, and now look what I'm about to do. You show your for legs. You have so you much have class. No character. Oh, oh, so no, look, look, I can there. handle myself. You have no character. Okay, I have no character. I'm the only character on this show. Fact. <laughs> that line was really good, though. That line was really good. I'm the only character on this show. <laughs> You're gonna be so embarrassed. Just like when you, you showed your. You acted. You're being okay. a jerk right now. You're showing your true colors. You have no class. And you have very poor oh, And I love when you women show their breasts show for the record. Really, you have so you much have class. No character. Just so yeah, look, look, what look, the hell I can there? handle myself. You have no character. Okay, I have no character. I'm the only character on this show. The reason I want to make everybody upset in this house is because the viewers wanted me to be the most entertaining reality TV show character in the history of the world. As soon as I knew, I turned my game face on and I started getting real inside the house and I started making things entertaining. When you see this, you are going to be so embarrassed. Wow, yes, thank you, Tommy. I'm not. Are you about to cry, Joy? Shut the f up. That's terrible. <laughs> hey, come on. Dude, come on, man. Oh my god. That's funny. Just let me have a minute to myself, please. Okay. I'm a monster. I, don't even know what's going on. I thought I was doing what the audience you know what? would like. If Alex is gonna make Joy cry. I am more than happy to console her. Gene is always there for a nice consoling hug, a little pat on the back, maybe some breakfast in bed. And I'm just being like overly sensitive. Ugh. Get away from me, you disgusting piece. Of You're the fat cow that keeps on stinking up the bathroom. You poop in this house so much. Every time you leave that bathroom, I walk in there, it smells like orange scented poop. You have a tire around your stomach. Like, go. Go put on a one piece. I mean, you look Another disgusting. And wow, Erica, go you didn't look vegetables. bad at all. Quit eating peanut butter every morning. That's okay, that was, was really so bad. I was so mad that they cut that, though, because remember I dropped my towel? So and it took me. my blood in my hands, and I made it talk to you. <laughs> and I said, Alex is going to die alone in a nursing home because he's a sociopath. But I said that with, with my gut. Like, I made my gut talk. Like and Chris Farley. Put that in. Do you remember me doing that? Kind of. I was so... In the dressing room, but I fought back. I was pissed that they cut that. Go on. I'm just sorry. I'm so sorry. Alex, oh my god, we got over this years ago. I think it's hilarious now. Continue, though. It's not, but I look like trash, but I am trash, so... Oh, shit. Well, I hope okay. you can. It was easy to get We're almost caught up that scenario. We got four right? minutes left. Four minutes. You're the fat cow that keeps on stinking up oh, the bathroom. Shit. You poop in this house so much. Every time you leave that you bathroom, did. I walk in there, it smells like orange scented poop. You have a tire really around your stomach. I don't know like, where you were go, that. Go put on I was just making piece. that up. I, mean, I made that up. Oh, oh. That was, I, I never even vegetables. saw you naked. Quit you looked great. You looked great on the show. Oh, my God. Erica is so overweight. You were hitting on oh. me. Those hey, dude. Came back so good you for looked me. great. I was just trying to start shit. I want to tell the whole house what I asked, but I'm not going to. It was very mucho bueno. I'm well, sick. I hope you get what you want. I'm just concerned about you when you go home. Have you ever played yeah, sports? I'm... No, I don't. Play what does sports have to do with it? And you're going against that other team? You hate those guys. Then I'm glad I never played. Let me tell you something. I'm so fucked up. Brings out the beast in everyone. <laughs> People in this house, they want to have a hunky dory. At the end of the day, Somebody's gonna screw you over, Robin, and they're gonna be the one person that's smiling to you. It's gonna enjoy. Sarah, I'm sorry to so the nice ladies in the chat. I'm sorry. The next day, they're gonna say, "Get the f out of here." I got it. If they think I'm bad now, oh, watch out. Oh, Alex, Alex, Alex. Ever oh, since the challenge ended, Jacob has been walking around with like this giant dark cloud over his head, and you can just see it in his face that he feels really defeated. It just seems like he's given up. This is the second day. We weren't even, we weren't even here for 40 hours before I'm getting put in the limbo. And that's annoying about this whole situation, period. You can't show the audience that side of you that feels defeated. 
I feel like at this point, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Jacob feels really defeated. The viewers and the audience are gonna see that and they're not gonna wanna vote for him. You came in here so confident. You can't lose that. And that scares me because I don't wanna be stuck without. Jacob changed his shirt okay. the entire time. Cause this is like no, day five. It, I don't he only had one, one. he only had that but shirt. I swear, I'm just gonna. <laughs> he lived in a barrel. Whoever pulls out number he grew four up in a barrel I'm gonna in the Pacific Northwest on the shore of the ocean for free. Who wants to go first? Two. Five. She <sighs> so got the four. The cards have spoken. Sorry, Ashley. Paula, did you do the card thing yet? Ashley. You picked Ashley? You were close. There's no question in my mind what I'm gonna do. My vote is Alex all the way, 100%, no question. It was very <laughs> gratifying to be able to slide the screen over to Alex's obnoxious face and cast my vote for him. This is not the Alex show, this is the glass house. It is the Alex show, it should have been. <laughs> What is all this symbology? The rock breaking the glass. It's just so weird. It is, isn't that biblical, right? You That's what I'm saying. I, I mean, it's, it's something is weird. There's yeah, Holly just throws one at me for no reason. That was the dumbest thing possible. She was out next, but there was absolutely no reason for her to do that for me. She liked me. I should have stayed on with her. No, she was out next. You. <laughs> You guys did not do a good job of figuring out who America was gonna like on here. Are you really okay? No, because I'm hated. I had to, I know, I know. <laughs> Look how I broke that. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? That's on ABC. So first, I'm doing my blurred out wieners on ABC, and now I'm doing the karate chop DX. I hope Jaron is watching my buddy. If you ever seen anybody do anything like that in your life on TV, I'm the first person, not the WWF did it, but they never wrestled on ABC. I'm probably one of the first people to ever do the crotch chop for a digital elimination game on ABC history and any of their digital media games where you live in a house for months and you vote like that. I'm the first person to ever do that and last. Oh, that's sick, baby. What do you say, sweet Erica? <laughs> Nothing. I said, let's just continue. <laughs> Easiest decision that I have had to make in a very long time. Hunger Games. I was bored. <laughs> That's whack. Everybody's voting me out. Annoying. The house has reached a decision. It's overwhelmingly for... What? Alex. <laughs> Jacob and Alex. <clears throat> Please proceed to limbo. Ladies first. See you guys. Hey, Erica, keep eating some more, you fat cow. Oh! Hey, you are a terrible person. I'm coming back after you all you Why did I say person. that? You are a Dude, there's stripper. There's no way you were coming back I'll from that. crying yourself to sleep tonight. I'll see you guys really soon. I'm definitely wow. worried about going to limbo against Alex. That's He's so bad. I'm coming back. No, you're not. Hey, shut up, Jacob. You're coming back, bro. Minutes after oh. leaving the glass house, Jacob decided to quit the game. But Alex's fate still remains in your hands. You told me you wanted me to be the most epic villain of all time. I did something for you. Now I need you guys to do something for me. Go to abc.com slash glass house and vote on whether you think Alex should return to the glass house. And tune in right now to watch and interact with the players live. Wow, what a fucked up show, Erica. Well, you've been a great guest. Well, there's an episode two. I'll have to have you come back on. We'll watch episode two, and we'll see you. You go to your end. We'll show the crowd your end, and we can talk about all the fucked up political stuff.
that we it's, uh, exactly a, it's a lot of fun alex i have not laughed this hard in a while dude i like what yeah. you're doing i am like i'm into it now hold on hold on let me fix you out let me fix you i can't see you let me let me do one thing i mean where are you i want to see you before you go there you go okay Erica, you've been a great, lovely host. I know you have to go, so we're going to wrap it up. That was a great episode. Let me just say from the bottom of my heart, I was a fucking idiot. That's no excuse, and I apologize. And you looked great, and you were the prettiest girl on the show. I mean, Joy looks good, too, to be honest. But what's her name's personality sucks so bad? Is, uh, Joy's, I mean, what's her name? That one Mormon cunt sucks. But, um, so you were, you, you, yeah, yeah. But uh, I loved you. You were great. I was wrong. I was I was try thought I was trying to win the game, but I'm an idiot. Well, you got to come back on. So so you like the show. You're willing to come back on, and next time we can Absolutely, explore you. Yeah. Absolutely, I dig the show. I have not seen anything like this on the internet, and I uh, I support your dreams, my friend. This was a well, blast. Like I laughed my ass off. Uh, well done. Well, thank you. Well, I'm going to have you uh, write some jokes for me. If you have any joke ideas for me, always send them to me. I'll say them on the air, and I'll send you the clips. Cool, cool. Okay, well, shoot. Well, I, well, actually, you know, technically, we're at an hour and 55 minutes, but because uh, we started 10 minutes late. But uh, uh, one thing I want to say before you go your Twitter is Xanax Warrior Princess. Do I have it right in the top? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So, so everybody, go follow Erica. I just want to say, I'm about to let you go. I'm sorry. I know we made up for it, but watching that was just cringy. And I know you don't give two shits, but I guess I'm just so self-involved and narcissistic that seeing me do that, and I'm really not much better than that. I'm better, but I'm not much. It's just I was so tortured. I was such a fucked up soul. I'm just like a mi millimeter less fucked up than that now. But I, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, Erica, you are great. You're a talented writer. You need to keep writing. You need to keep doing stand-up. And you really need to do a show your own. I'll help you. I'll show you what you got to do to get started. And once you get started, you'll figure all the shit out your own. You know, you just need to get the ball. You know, you got to, you know, get the ball started. Um, but like I said, you are very, you are very funny. You're very talented. Anything you want to say before we go? No, I love you, Alex. This is a blast. Thank you for having me. And thank you, everybody, for oh, being here. And, and, and one one thing, guys, before you go, uh, uh, if you guys want to join, I, I'm at almost at 60 patrons for the patron-only stream, March 31st. For $1, you can join. And I'm doing a patron-only, too hot for TV stream. We're going to talk about all the censored stuff that we can't say on YouTube. So if you guys want to join for $1, it's patrons only, too hot for TV. We're going to upload it on Vimeo. It's going to be fucked up. And you're gonna if you have emotional issues, you probably shouldn't watch it because you're not gonna be able to get through it emotionally. And you're gonna have trauma because it's gonna be reverse trauma based mind control if you're not emotionally strong enough for the stuff we're gonna talk about because they're not only adult subjects but they're extremely disturbing and they talk about satanic ritualistic abuse. We're gonna talk about the spirit cooking that you and I didn't get into, Erica, and we're gonna see some dark imagery. So I just really want to caution everybody um, to see that stream. It takes one dollar at least of your donation or of your patronage. And I love you guys to everybody that donated. Uh, Tommy King. Thank you. Chainsaw Cat, Flat to Tat Tat, James in Germany, James in Germany, and Tommy and Jaronism. Thank you. And Jared Boards, and uh, who else said something? Oh, Paige for the Sky Bear. Thank you, Paige. Well, everybody's been so nice. You are so lovely. Go follow Erica. And Erica, it, you will not be a stranger. I'm going to have you on very soon, I promise, okay? Oh, oh, I got to do right. something. Wait, wait, no, no, actually, you can't leave yet. Hold on. One last thing. We're almost done. We're almost done. We got to do the last thing. It's, it's unprofessional. Uh, 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 hold on. Hold on, even though I gotta go tinkle so bad. Let me do one last thing. This is for the people who like to shake their ass. I'm giving you. Yeah, here we go, Erica. I love you. This is for the people at home. We love you guys. Thank you for being here this evening. We love y'all. Now which one of y'all hoes ready to clown with a nigga from the deep town? I put it down like Trey and Eminem. What I'm giving them? Game the symphony. Never forget me, bitch. Whether I'm rich or pissy poor. Whether I love all ladies or bitches or whores. Whether I rock the top in a dick. I love you guys. I love you, Erica. Peace and good night, guys. Bye. So what you say? Bye.